But okay, folks, I think it's high time we began uh, doing the Natlan Archon quest again. But yeah, I'm so excited. So last time we left it off on the uh, Natlan Archon quest, we um, we uh, went to the Night Kingdom. We rescued Kachina, thankfully. We are aware that Natlan is in danger of collapsing within like one year, less than a year. And yeah, we got to assemble all six heroes to potentially fight against the Night Kingdom and uh, push back the Abyss to make sure Natlan does not collapse, or uh, I think. I might be missing a few details here and there, but that's the most I remember. Also, regarding the, the Arkhan quest, um, I've heard that um, some VAs will not be voiced, or some characters will not be voiced in this quest, because the VAs are involved in the, uh, the strike. Yeah, uh, somebody in chat actually told me that Kinich and uh, Kachina are going to be unvoiced because of the, the strike, so if they do come up in the quest, I will either switch to Japanese voices or I'll voice them myself, <laughs> which I... I'll do my very best to do that. <laughs> I'm not a professional VA, but I'll, I'll do my best to, like, you know, give a good impression of, of them. So, yeah, just a bit of a heads up in case, you know, you, you find out later on that, oh, hey, why is uh, Kinich or Kachina not voice? That's why. But without further ado, let us begin or continue on with the Nat Lenarkin quest. Oh, there we go. I see. Thank you so much. The Adventurers Guild has been overwhelmed these days. No worries at all. We've always valued the strength of adventurers. Given the current situation, it's vital that we all work together. Since we're facing the same enemies, I'll send you the intel we've collected on the Abyss so far. Then we can take a look at how to coordinate our efforts. All right. Thank you so much. Hi, Catherine. It's us. Got any new commissions? Ah. <sighs> You two have come just in time. I've got some good news. The Pyro Archon has finished assembling her forces and stationed them all across Natlan. Oh. Oh, wow, she's already getting busy. Given how the Abyss has ramped up its activities lately, we can no longer afford to act only after receiving news of an invasion. So the Pyro Archon suggested that the Scions of the Canopy and the Adventurers Guild focus on collecting and disseminating intel. That way, we can stay informed of everything that's happening across the land. Okay, I'm getting ready for war already. Okay. If we receive word of enemy activity, we can notify the nearest camp and the stationed forces can take immediate action. That'll lead to faster response time. Yes, precisely. Hmm. This should also allow us to focus on gathering information rather than running around and trying to tackle everything at once. Cass's voice seems kind of weird because every time I like switch dialogue, like progress the dialogue, she always takes like half a second to speak. So please also like that. take a chance to relax, you two. You've been working hard these days, and this will be a good opportunity for some well-deserved rest. So that's the plan. Whew, we can finally stop and take a break. Mm. But the third of the abyss is so far from over. But the less we work. Uh, the, the less we, the less work we take, the less we'll earn. <laughs> Paimon knows that. It's not like Paimon just wanted to lay here and do nothing. Also, I'm aware. Um, Act three and Act four are out today. Like, yeah, in this uh, update, I'm not sure if we'll be going through both acts. But um, depending on how long each one is, I guess I'll decide whether or not if I'll continue tomorrow or today. <laughs> the movements of the abyss are always unpredictable. There have also been times when it suddenly became more active in the past. The people here generally see it as something like an acute natural disaster. Mm. Once the disaster is over, everyone will return to their normal lives. We just all hope that day will be sooner rather than later. Oh, right. Most people have no idea just how bad the situation has gotten in the Night Kingdom. I also hope the day of peace will come soon. Also, what the hell is Capitano up to? You got any news about him? Oh, here we go. Here's the start of the uh, unvoiced dialogue, Kachina. Ah. Oh. Time for me to do, put on my best Kachina impression. Eh? Is that Space Edge and Paimon? Hello, hello! Oh, hey, Kachina! Are you feeling better now? <laughs> yep. Now really isn't the time to stay home and recover anyway. I want to do something to help. I heard that the Pyre Archon's gathering warriors to be stationed in the more remote areas, so I can't wait to sign up! Impressive, Kachina. Don't put yourself too hard. Impressive. <laughs> Don't think I've heard. I haven't heard about all the things that you've been doing. With everyone uh, working so hard, I gotta do my part too. Oh, by the way, Shilin told me she was ordered to forge you an ancient name. 
She said that she's all set and we can head over whenever she's ready. Oh yeah, that. <laughs> Oh yeah, right. She she does forge ancient names. Okay. <laughs> she learns a true master. Not only she can afford ancient names, but she can also, uh, but all sorts of uh, also all sorts of new and fun things. Sorry, <laughs> had a bit of a stroke there. She's always got a pile of commissions on her plate, so you usually have to wait a while before she finishes something. In this case, though, she's completely cleared her schedule, uh, just uh, just to work with you. She wants to give you. Uh, she wants to give your name her full attention. Then we should meet. Uh, then we should properly thank her when we meet. <laughs> Sorry, my reading comprehension is not the best. Well, I've already signed up as a warrior, so all I have to do now is wait for my assignment. If it's okay, maybe we can go sh see Shadowland together. She wouldn't turn me away, right? I mean, I hope she wouldn't. Hey, have some confidence in yourself, Kachina. After all, you're already a victor of the Night Warden Wars. I'm so proud of you. You're the future of your tribe. Ah. <laughs> On second thought, maybe I'll just find a hole in the ground to jump into and hide for a while. Beyond the smoke and mirrors. Ah. Kind of sad that Kachina's not voice and possibly Kini's shoe, but hopefully that gets fixed in like a future update, maybe. Yeah, I I, I do hope that. Like, yeah, <laughs> they uh. Yeah, they, they get revoiced at some points. Honestly, I was contemplating like maybe delaying the Arkham Quest to um wait for the voice lines to be added in, but at at this point I I just kinda don't want to. I don't want to get spoiled. So I'm gonna do the Arkham Quest as early as I possibly can. But okay, let's go. Also, that's stop necking navigating these. So the children of Echoes. Also, my throat kind of <laughs> hurts the voice in Kachina. Uh hopefully she doesn't have too much dialogue. Need a surfboard? All right, where is she? Oh, there she is. Um. Oh. We. Carving way. All right, up we get. All right. Here we are. There she is. She learned. I brought the person who needs an ancient name. She's super amazing, and I've already learned tons of stuff from her. I can bet she's really worthy of a hero's name. Ah, yes, so I've heard. So young, and yet you've already got quite the reputation. Wait, are you, are you Outlanders? Uh, yeah? Yep, we're travelers who just arrived in Natland not too long ago. No, I, I mean, I was aware that you're travelers. It's just no one told me that you're Outlanders. Huh? Are you saying the pirate Alka didn't tell you? No, the only thing she said is that a new hero had pledged herself to the plan, but we need to forge an ancient name to ensure she'd be able to return safe and sound. Huh. And she did mention that it would be quite difficult to forge an ancient name for them, but at the time, I thought she was just commenting on my skills. But I seem to understand where the uh, true difficulty lies now. <laughs> oh. Is that, like, not really that possible to... Fortune ancient name for Outlanders? Hmm. Uh, are you upset? No, oh, I, I wouldn't go that far. I'm used to it, really. I just uh, need a moment to process things. The Pyro Archon's requests are always difficult to fulfill, and uh, we used to argue a lot. Uh. Honestly, it's uh, probably for the better that she didn't bring this up at the time. Also, I'd love a little braid here with like different colors and whatnot. It's really, really. A nice touch on her character design. God, she looks so good. <laughs> also love the little fluffs she has on her like little jacket there. Anyway, I can't argue with her if she isn't here, and it'd be pointless to take my anger out on someone else. But, ooh, just because I understand her rationale doesn't make me any less upset. After all, she must have known that forging an ancient name for an outlander is an impossible task. Oh. It's impossible? As you probably know, an ancient name is a symbol of a hero's spirit and glory, which grows even richer and heavier as generations of successors inherit it. We forge ancient names by engraving the heroic deeds of an individual who will become the first hero of that particular name. 
I got plenty of deeds under my belt. Yeah, I saw countless feats recorded in their in their adventure handbook. It felt like they could do anything. But they were all performed outside of Netlan, correct? Uh, oh, yeah, that problem. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Then those deeds haven't been recorded by the Night Kingdom. Uh. To take it one step further, even if you had performed heroic deeds in that land, as an outlander, your actions still wouldn't have been recorded by our lands. Only memories and experiences that have been acknowledged by the Wild can be used as a basis for an ancient name. Damn, so we just can't get one now, essentially. Even the uh. greatest of craftsmen cannot create something out of thin air, you know. That's just how it is. Seems the Wyab don't want just anyone to get a name, huh? Mawika, of all people, should know better than anyone. Yet she still entrusted the task of forging the ancient name to me. Oh, Paimon gets it. Nobody's happy being asked to do the impossible. Why do I feel like this has happened before? I think last time Shiluna and just ended up riding dozens of lasts around the hills nearby. Ugh, don't remind me. Let's just uh, focus on how we can pull this off. How to achieve the impossible. She's done this before, huh? But for who? Mm -mm. Uh, you mean you're already willing to accept the task? Well, what else can I do? What's happened is already done, and it's not like I can outright defy the order of my Archon. If she gave me this order, then she believes the ancient name is an indispensable part of her plan, and that I'll be able to find a way to make it happen. In other words, the Order is an affirmation of my abilities. Oh, not only has she accepted the task, but now she's looking for silver linings? Yeah, that's just how much she and the Archon trust each other. I mean, yeah, it's the Archon after all. Yeah, let's see if we can find some special way to pull this off. If we really make it work, uh, uh, I could still go back and talk to the Pirate Archon, right? The key is getting the Wyab to somehow acknowledge the Traveler's existence and record her heroic deeds. We heard the voice of a Wyab when we were in the Night Kingdom before. We even had a whole conversation with her. If we can talk to her again, maybe we mm. can figure something out together. But that means returning to the Night Kingdom, right? Well, every tribe has their own Wyab. How do we know if the one you met is indeed the best one for us to talk to? Yeah, there's like probably like six of them out there, Plus, right? considering the unprecedented nature of this situation, I have a feeling that the acknowledgement of one Wyab alone would probably not be enough. We need to gain the acknowledgement of all six Wyab? <sighs> I don't know. That requires a level of knowledge that I do not possess. Hmm. We need to find a consultant who's an expert on all things Night Kingdom and Wyab. The first person who comes hey. to mind is Seat Lolly at the Masters of the Nightwind. The one we call Granny Eats Tali. Granny? Oh, don't tell me she's another one of those characters that's like... <laughs> she's like Farazan, like she's super old but looks super young. Oh, we've heard that name before. We used her spirit speaker stone to find Kachina's ancient name. A person who can make something like that must be pretty impressive. I'm unsure she'd be able to help. Uh, still, she's older now and quite eccentric. <laughs> it's hard to even book a meeting with her, given that she's constantly holed up in a room and doesn't like to be disturbed. I've heard that to get her help, you have to be extremely patient with her and know how to keep her spirit up. Huh. To break it to you, but she probably won't be very happy with us, huh? Why is that? I mean, didn't she already help you before? Uh, I mean, you even managed to save Kachina, yeah. Um, we kind of broke her little stone, uh, to save somebody, but you know, I don't think uh, she doesn't like the fact that's broken. Well, yeah, at the cost of her spirit speaker stone being split into two, <laughs> you what. <laughs> Huh? <sighs> Great going, Moika. We're already off to a rocky start here. I've, in that case, I guess your only option is to try to emphasize that this is an important order from the Pyro Archon. Hopefully, Seat Lolly would still want to show respect to the Archon. I'll also write you a letter on your behalf. If you can find someone to deliver it and mention some good things about you, then that should help too. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, then let's ask Keen if she delivered the letter. He understands the whole situation is already familiar face to her. I'm sure hopes so. a Hal won't interrupt when he's talking, though. All right, Kanich is a seasoned negotiator. I trust that he'll know the best things to say. Great, then I'll go contact him right now. Uh, please just give me a moment to write the letter. 
And we can meet up near the Statue of the Seven later. Will do. <laughs> Sounds good! We'll take a stroll in the meantime. Oh boy. I'm really, really interested in meeting Sid Lolly as well. Sheila Lennon seems kind of cool. But Sid Lolly, <laughs> oh boy, what is she going to be like? <laughs> Alright, go meet a bikini at the uh, great location. Alright, let's go. Wee. God, <laughs> I love that you can just casually just skate like this. For Sheila Lennon. He needs to fix his way over after some time. Right, he isn't voiced either. Oh god, and they're both here. Uh, I'm gonna try and voice them both, but apologies if this turns out terrible. We meet again. Kachina told me everything. I delivered the message to the Masters of the Night Wind and convinced it Lolly to give you a chance. I also seek this chance to explain what happened to the Spirit Speaker, Stone, and offer her an apology in person. I'm sorry to put this on you, Kanich. It's just that you're probably the only person who knows how to deal with her. It's all right. We're all working for the sake of Pirate Archon's plan, after all. Everyone here understands how dire the situations become. Oh, wait. So, Kachina and the Traveler also know about the plan? Uh, yeah. <laughs> did she, how much shit did she not tell you? <laughs> mm-hmm. Because we all saw Hero the past rematerialize right before our eyes. Then Molani said that a ton of knowledge and memories just suddenly flooded back in her brain. The Pirate Archon explained everything when we came back from, from the Night Kingdom, including the reason behind the appearance of the hero, as well as the current state of the Night Kingdom. Right. She mentioned there are six heroes and that Shilonen is one of four that have already been acknowledged. Yep. Oh, <laughs> well, then I suppose there's no need to keep any secrets between us. Having companions walk by your side is perhaps the best solace when facing such a bleak reality. I have another plan of in- uh, another- uh, sorry. <laughs> I have a piece of intel to share. We've pretty much identified the person who rescued the, the captain in the Stadium of the Sacred Flame. Uh, Ororon? His name is Ororon, and he also hails from the Masters of the Night Wind. Yep. However, he spent most of his life living out in the wilderness by himself, away from the rest of the tribe. That's why his disappearance went unnoticed. By the time Seat Lali finally realized that he was gone, no one had heard from him for quite a while. Him too? Huh. Everyone knows he's her in that one, apparently. That's right. Aurora was an orphan raised by the chief of the Masters of the Night Wind and many other kind hearted people in this tribe. Still, he's had something of an odd reputation his whole life. Odd, huh? Given how the Masters of the Night Wind love to babble about dreams and revelations, they're already a pretty strange bunch to most. I've never met Aurora, but. If they consider him the odd one, he's got to be pretty far out there. That's right. So in a sense, Aurora and Tilali actually have quite a bit in common. Which is why they get along pretty well. Huh. Makes sense. But Paimon wonders how Lali could be the first one to notice Aurora's disappearance if she spends the whole day in her room. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> how? <laughs> As of now, we still haven't been able to confirm whether Aurora joined the Futui voluntarily, or if he was coerced. See, Lolly's probably eager to prove that Aurora hasn't betrayed his people. I plan to use this as leverage when I go talk to her. Huh, so if I'm following, you mean we'll help her investigate Aurora and the captain's whereabouts? Hmm. Yes, if you're all on board with this idea, then it becomes a mutually beneficial collaboration, rather than just a one-sided request. Even though I don't like, I don't think Silali's the kind of person to turn down an, an order from the Pyro Archon. Working together with us will help her focus and not get distracted by the whole Auron situation. Good idea. Two birds, one stone. Yes. Yeah. Plus, we kind of owe her one anyway to make up for breaking the spirit speaker stone. Yeah, that too. But hopefully, we don't bring that up. <laughs> ah, this is a pretty well thought out plan, as expected of Molly Poke and each. <laughs> then, uh, yeah, I'll leave my letter to you. Let's hope Seat Lolly can meet at the stadium in two days. Sure, I'll head out right away. Take care out there, Kinich. I'll be heading back as well. There's a few things I need to pack. Okay, then let's part ways for now. I'll see you in a couple of days. <laughs> Hey, how are you guys? I'm how are you guys liking my Kinich and uh, Kachina voice so far? 
<laughs> okay, wait till the day, uh, the morning of the day after tomorrow. You got it. All right, wait it out. <laughs> also, might as well since I'm at it. All right, chilling out. There she is. Also, what are the achievements I got? Oh, this one. Yeah, I, uh, an achievement I got for beating that boss. All right, morning of the day after tomorrow. All right, two days later. Oh god. Yeah, Kiryu seem it's kind of, uh, I guess, easy to imitate somewhat, but Kajina, it's kind of hard to do her little high-pitched voice there. Oh, man. If I ever get tired, then yeah, I'll probably switch to Japanese voices, but I want to sing the English as long as I possibly can here. Oh, then again, if I switch to Japanese, you can hear Naruto and Sasuke again, so... Hmm. There's, there's that. <laughs> part of me, I don't know why, but part of me wishes I could, like, maybe, uh, like, sort of, like, their dialogues. Where, like, uh, I don't know, I have, like, Shilonen and the others, like, all the other characters on English, but Kinich and, uh, Kajina will be on Japanese for some reason. I don't know why, part of me wishes I could do that, but, oh well. That's just how it, the way it goes. Also, there's another side quest up here, too, like, how many world missions am I missing out on? Alright, put one up there. Okay, it's Dr. Sheila then. I'm here. Hey, Shilonen. How's everything going? Oh, hi, Traveler and Paimon. I have uh, bad news. St. Oh. Lolly did not reply to our request. Damn. Although, I suppose I'm not too surprised. Huh? You mean she didn't even bother to give Kanichi a response? Guess she really does have quite the ego then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, she can be also quite eccentric, though she's one of the most gifted people around. Even the Masters of the Night Wind often struggle to work with her. My guess is that she probably has other reasons for not deigning us with a response. But let's go to the stadium and see if we can meet her there. If we do get a chance to talk to her in person, we can still try to work something out. That's true. Let's go! Okay. Go to your location and, and wait for seat Lolly. Oh boy. Uh, she's gonna be pissed at us. I'm kinda excited to see her pissed, not gonna lie. <laughs> I really wanna see what she looks like when she's, uh, she's mad. Alright, see Lolly? You anywhere? We're at the Stadium of the Secret Flames. I expect Seat Lolly's not there. Damn. Paimon doesn't see anybody. Seems she's just not gonna show up, huh? Well, we tried to be as considerate as we could, but she's under no obligation to help. That might be true, but this is still a request from the Pyro Archon, right? Shouldn't a subject always answer the call of their Archon? <laughs> a subject? Well, if you ask me, yeah. I'd say we're all more like friends with the Archon. Yeah. Like, Mavuika seems more like a... More like a very friendly king, than rather than a ruler. Yes, Mavuika is our leader. But that doesn't mean there's any kind of tall barrier between us and her. Like, yeah, she seems a lot more friendly with her, um, her people than uh, the other Archons are. The only thing is that she often has very high expectations of us. I can tell. <laughs> huh. So even though she's super powerful, it sounds like she's actually pretty down to earth and easy to get along with. I mean, duh, she just kind of just invited us, just like, hey, you, space, <laughs> hey, you, traveler, come aboard, let's talk. <laughs> just... Just so casually, without any like formal invitation. Just like, yeah, <laughs> come up here. We'll we'll chat for a spell. <laughs> I'll go get some McDonald's for Madden. <laughs> Unlike that old hag Granny eats to Lee, right? Does she oh. think she can ignore us just because she's famous? Uh, speak of <laughs> speaking of that Granny. You all talk about her like she's <laughs> a huge deal, but she didn't even bother to reply to our letter. Seriously, if she didn't want to come, she could at least let us know. If that's what aging does to you, Paimon never wants to get old. Oh boy, she's she's gonna be pissed. <clears throat> oh really? <laughs> so that's how you see me? <laughs> and that's when Paimon knew she fucked up. <laughs> and well, rest in peace, Paimon. 
We uh we hardly knew you. Who, who's there? Whoa. Who's talking next to Paimon? Where'd she go? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just a disgruntled old hag, right? <laughs> Ugh, come on, relax. I'm sure my bark's worse than my bite. Huh? See Lolly. You're here. Huh? <laughs> Wait, you're Seat Lolly? You're Granny Eatsley? Yes, Granny Eatsley. But emphasis on Eatsley, not Granny. <laughs> I, I think she takes offense to her age. Uh, yay, she's here. I, I really, really do love her design. Oh yeah, and she is March's uh, voice actor. Although it sounds like a bit, a bit more uh, stern, uh, a bit more like harsher than uh, March. Ah, oh, you must know this trope from light novels, surely. <laughs> they use it all the time. The young man who's actually the oldest person in the room. The girl next door who turns out to be a seasoned veteran. <laughs> the wise sage who looks like a little kid. <laughs> you read light novels too? Damn. Oh, wipe that look off your face. You've seriously never seen an older lady that doesn't look her age? <laughs> <sighs> okay, well, don't go thinking it's a trick either. See? I'm barely wearing any makeup. Yeah, she's wearing tons of makeup. What are you talking about? <laughs> Did I forget to mention? She's called Granny, but uh, she's actually pretty young. And you and the Pyrocon were complaining about, uh, and you were complaining about the Pyrocon leaving things out. <laughs> it was an honest mistake. I guess we've just gotten used to it. <laughs> um, I'm on sorry. So, how old are you actually? Oh, about like you know, three million two hundred and fifty-five thousand. dare you? <laughs> Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady her age? Oh god, she's gonna punch us. <laughs> uh, Paimon really didn't mean to offend you, it's just that uh, your case seems really unique. God, yeah, she sounds, wow, very different from March 7th. If I didn't know, like, beforehand that they share the same voice actor, I would have never guessed that was March's VA. Oh, Paimon just wanted to apologize, but now she's putting more and more of her foot in her mouth. Really, Paimon just got a little mad since we thought, well, you were gonna leave us out to dry. Hmm. <laughs> well, now now I am leaving out to dry. Goodbye. It was my idea to invite you here, Seat Lolly. So if you're upset, you can just take it out on me. <sighs> All right. I was only joking. I didn't mean to chastise anyone. There's really no need to take all this so seriously. If anything, I'm gonna feel awkward if we keep this going. I received Kenichi's letter and was planning to attend this meeting. Since I had already decided to come, I figured there was no need to draft a reply that simply said, Understood. <laughs> Besides, just showing up is the most important part. No? You know, well, you know, a little kind of confirmation, but it would have been nice. But, of course... Yeah. It's also natural for people to get held up by one thing or another as they're trying to leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly was a bit awkward to see that everyone else had arrived before me. At first, I was thinking of quietly sneaking over, <laughs> but since you were already here waiting for me, <laughs> I started to think about how I should phrase my apology. <laughs> Only to hear you all talking smack about me. Oh, you guys say this last part? Okay, no, you're not. <laughs> that face. Oh god, I love the. I got. I gotta love all the expressions in Natlin. They really, really like are endearing. Like, look, look, look at his face. How can you not love that? <sighs> anyway, that's the whole story. Uh, <clears throat> honestly, it's not like I owed you an explanation. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, you just made things more awkward. Uh, no. <laughs> Was she feeling embarrassed just now? Am I hearing your thoughts, Paimon? Are you whispering to me? What's going on? Holy shit. I have telekinesis of Paimon now. Is she waiting for us to carry on the conversation? Everything she's saying sounds like a joke, but I'm not sure if I should laugh. Would it be rude to laugh? Even more rude not to laugh? <laughs> When the Masters of the Night Winds said they struggle dealing with her, huh, I wonder if the feeling is mutual. <laughs> huh, she seems to be pretty awkward herself. Everything she does and says seems a little forced. <laughs> it's just complete awkward silence. 
Anyway, Shilonen, I heard that you require my help in crafting an ancient name. Correct. The situation isn't like anything we've handled before. Let me explain. She only explains that Pyra can request that as well as the difficulty she has. Oh, I see. I see. So Maoika has asked you to forge an ancient name for an outlander. Well, that would be a first. Also, yeah, is it pronounced Mavuika? Like, do you pronounce a Vu or is it Maoika? Like, you ignore the V entirely. I still don't know. And you've also heard all about Auroron. Yep. You must say, he's always been a good kid. I can't see him joining the Fatui of his own volition. He must have been coerced somehow. We'll know once we find him. Yeah, that's what we came here to ask you. We'll help bring Auroron back if you help us solve the problems of forging the ancient name. What do you think? Hmm. Uh, I suppose I'll just call you Traveler for now. Uh -huh. Traveler, come here. Let me take a good look at you. Uh, what? Uh, what, what do you mean take a good look at me? I have my hmm. hand. Wealth leads to unending conflicts between people. Oh. Yet you alone transcend the value of gold. Baleful thunder and wrathful waves bring terror to mortal hearts. Oh. Yet again and again, you've braved them to find new worlds. Oh, this is like our journey so far, huh? A weary yet free soul. Even the most verdant leaf in the forest will pray for your happiness and safe passage. Yeah, honestly, I really, really see... See Lali as like an older Fushuan. <laughs> the resemblance is really, really uncanny. Uh, excuse me, what's that supposed to be? What was that all supposed to mean? <sighs> Those are all the things that I could see in you. You've experienced far more than even most mortals could dream of. You possess the heart of a sincere hero, along with the conviction to lift a torch above your head and walk headlong into the night. Huh? Don't move. There's something here. Yep, uh, something. Huh? What thing? Don't scare Paimon. Is the traveler gonna be okay? I'm fine. She's just touching my hand. Don't worry. Ah, uh, shoo. Oh. <laughs> Is that a fly on me or something? What? Ah, uh, that should do it. You've just returned from the Night Kingdom, oh. so some fragments of souls were still stuck to your body. Oh, shit. No what? need to worry. I've just cleared out the last of them. Some fragments of souls are stuck on me? What? Uh... Shouldn't we also cleanse, like, the rest? Like, Kachina and the others? <laughs> Isn't that kind of like having part of a ghost come back with you? Uh, it's nothing as serious as that. Huh. If left unattended, the most it could do is stir up some chaos in your mind. And generally worsen your mood. Okay. Well, in that case, better to get rid of them. Thank you. It was nothing. Shilonen, let's follow your proposal. Once you've brought Auroron back, I'll take you to see the Lord of the Night. The Lord of the Night? But don't we need to talk to the Wyab of the tribes? Oh yeah, wasn't Kini saying about that like in his verse? Like, for the Lord of the Nights, who's like who's that again? Something this important is beyond their jurisdiction. Only the Lord of the Night can decide whether we can grant an ancient name to one who does not hail from our lands. The Lord of the Night is an ancient entity that rules over the entire Night Kingdom. Okay. Constantly borrowing the power of the Sacred Flame to combat corrosion from the Abyss. Oh, so you're basically saying it's even more powerful than the Wyab of the Tribes. Well, that sort of makes sense, being the Lord of the entire Night Kingdom and all. Uh, not exactly. It's not so much that one's more powerful than the other. Uh, but never mind. That's not important. It would take too much time to explain. Just listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you. The Lord of the Night is currently in a deep slumber, and we can only communicate with its consciousness while in a trance. Okay. In other words, in a dream. So, I gotta sleep? But I will <laughs> need to prepare a few more things if we are to hold a ceremony to achieve the state of the trance. I'll make a list. Can any of you get everything for me? I can go. It'll probably be a long list, so better leave it to someone who knows all the local vendors. Sounds good! Then we'll go with Seat Lolly to track down Auroron! Alright. The Fatui are nothing to scoff at, so please, be careful during your investigation. If you need any help, 
Just come find me. Hey, don't worry. We fought like four at this point. Uh, I won only three. I won only against three of them, though. Yep, we'll be sure to play it safe. Okay. All right. Now it's time for us to catch that brat and bring him back. <laughs> <sighs> oh, uh, I'm sorry I made you wait earlier. It was actually because I decided to swing by Auroran's place to look for clues. You're doing that now? <laughs> he has always lived alone. And I found a broken jar in his house. There was also something off about his phlogiston aphids. Which I assume is because their keeper has been gone for quite some time. Slogan aphid? Oh, those are probably like insects or something. And interestingly enough, I saw some slash marks in the house that did not match any of our local weapons. Oh. My guess is they were left by Snezhnayan arms. Oh, so he was attacked? Oh, sounds like the Fatui broke into his house and took him hostage. Huh. But why would they kidnap a kid who just... Spends his days living in the country and raising aphids. He's only in his 20s. What would they want with him? <clears throat> That's not to say that I believe he's totally innocent, of course. Since he's the only one who was kidnapped out of everyone in Natlan, mm. he must have done something to attract their attention. <sighs> in any case, we'll get to the bottom of this once we manage to get him back here. First things first, I got tracked on Capitano. I'm truly the hell he sorry went. to put you two through all this trouble with me. But uh, please help me get him back. You can count on us! Yeah. Alright, then let's start by heading to where Auroron was seen last. Hmm. Alright, all the way by the Scions. Oh, well. Oh. Somewhat close to the Scions. Wait, he lives here? This is where you've seen last? Huh. Well, okay. Let's have a look, see here. Uh, let me just go glide as well. Because I would like to fly faster. Hmm. So yeah, what? Hmm. So yeah, when we saw the Capitano fight, he used the, uh... Yeah, the powers of the... The people to like I guess get away from them and yeah, that's how we know that you know his tribe was included in this whole shebang so I'm guessing maybe Aurora must have teached uh, the skills to him or you know gave him like the powers to do so but hmm so trying to figure out what the motive is he really on their side I guess we'll see in a sec is that a kid and a man up there oh yeah it is uh, this is the spot. An eyewitness claimed to have seen Auroron speaking to some Fatui soldiers here. Yeah. I don't know how much you're willing to believe me, but Auroron really is a good kid. I see no reason why he'd suddenly get involved with a Fatui. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say, uh, I expect to see Lali's voice to be a bit, a bit higher pitch. To sound a bit, you know, similar to March 7th. I didn't expect her voice to be, like, this deep. <laughs> I'm convinced that what the witnesses saw was actually the Fatui coercing him. Or perhaps trying to extract information. I'm not saying I dislike it or anything, I just... Yeah, it's just very different from what I expected. I, I like this voice. <laughs> it's uh, growing on me. Uh, however, I doubt anyone would believe me, given there are no signs of a fight. Didn't Kamich say that she's a big name in that land? Feels kind of weird to see her so frustrated and helpless like this. Can you tell us a bit more about him? Auroron? Well, he was left at the side of the road as an infant. Oh. And the people of the tribe took him in. You could say that everyone had a hand in raising him. He learned a lot from us. And once he reached adulthood, he built himself a house out in the countryside. He spends most of his days growing vegetables and raising aphids. Living off of what he harvests from the garden. <sighs> He's always been such a good kid. He would even get his friends to deliver whole bags of fresh produce to my place. That's all there is to him. He really doesn't sound like a bad person. Oh well, let's keep looking. He can answer all of our questions once we find him. Hmm. He's been raising phlogiston aphids for a long time. And since they were disturbed, they secreted a special type of phlogiston. We can use that substance to track his movements. Yeah, forgive me if I'm wrong, but aphids are- they're like bugs, right? 
<laughs> yeah, he already seems kind of weird just by raising bugs. <laughs> Let's follow the phlogiston trail. Huh? What trail? Paimon doesn't see anything. Oh, right. I forgot your eyes don't naturally perceive such things. Ah, uh, here. Give me your hand. Oh. Bestow me with your powers. Genshin Fushuan. March. Whoa. Give me your power. Huh? Yeah. Uh. How about now? What do you see? I see blue lines. I can see the trail now. Whoa, Paimon can see it now too. Oh, you have the power too? Damn. That's right. That's oh, just me. I used a spell to temporarily transfer a portion of my senses to you. For a short while, you'll be able to see the phlogiston too. Nah, damn it, it's not permanent. Wow, you can even share your senses with us? First time Paimon's heard anything like that. It requires a very rare spell that most people aren't adept at. <laughs> but don't worry, it's a cinch for me. Between the two of you, it seems the Traveler's senses are a bit stronger than Paimon's. Uh -huh. When I held your hand just now, I could sense that you've got a great affinity for Phlogiston. You're extraordinarily gifted. Anyway, we'll need to use our vision now to track down Auroron. Good luck, you two. What do you mean, good luck? You're coming with us, right? <laughs> Over here, this way! <laughs> See, Lolly might say a lot of deep and confusing stuff, but this spell of hers is... I really guess we're leaving her, then. Oh, come on. Why is she with us? What was Never, that? she is with us. Oh, Paimon was just complimenting you. Really? Although, I haven't seen... Yeah, I haven't seen Chilinet's animations yet. Oh, yeah, she has, like, a three-hit combo. Bring it. Oh yeah, her attack animations are so freaking cool. All right, what's here? What does she mean by deep and confusing? <laughs> as far as elderly shamans go, I'd say that I'm already pretty easy to talk to. Is there any other old hag who's as fluent in the language of the youth as me? Huh? Wait, who's speaking? What's a question mark? Question mark? Question mark? Uh, but. Is my way of speaking still not trendy enough? I've already tried my best to match their speech patterns. Uh. But given the looks on their faces just now. What? Is this somebody other than Seat Lolly talking? Does she have a, like a split personality in her brain or something? What's going on? <laughs> or perhaps I'm still not fashionable enough? <laughs> but that can't be, right? Ugh. Don't tell me they're still getting the impression that I'm super old-fashioned. <laughs> uh, huh? What am I hearing right now? I think I just heard a voice, but it wasn't within my ears. Was it all in my mind? Was that Seat Lolly's voice? Uh, can, can we hear her thoughts now that she shared her power with us? Hmm. Seems Paimon has heard the same voice, but she also looked like she understood what's going on. Let me think. Ah, must be a side effect of the spell she cast. Uh, now that I think about it, it's a good thing I found some helpers this time. Some things are best done with the help of friends. So now I can hear her thoughts through telepathy? Well, this is amazing! Something like this could only happen with Silali. Oh? <laughs> they appear to be feeling quite confident. Yeah. It looks like our work will go smoothly. You bet. Just leave it to us. Oh, can I only hear her thoughts, but you can't hear mine? Hey, looks like there's a new camp over there. That'd be really funny Let's later on when she like fights out that we can we can hear her uh, thoughts the whole time. Brat, I swear. I... Oh shit! I didn't mean to. Come. Damn it. Mm. Yeah. Judging I didn't mean to skip the dialogue. Experience as a guide. It definitely looks like people set up camp here. Oh yeah, no fucking shit, Paimon. Oh uh, wait, the phlogiston here is a bit odd. Let me see. <sighs> Paimon sees a small shape here. Could it be some sort of symbol? 
This is a distress signal for the Masters of the Nightwind. Oh, shit. Only someone from our tribe would recognize it. So Auroron was indeed being threatened. We've got to find him. Fast. Oh, leaving such a subtle mark implies that he was trying to be discreet. In other words, he was probably under the Fatui's watch. Uh, mm. If they notice us, we can just charge in and fight them to the death. But... Oh, but... What if my darling grandson is also there? Grandson? I can't have him caught in the crossfire. Wait, you have a grandson? What? Huh? This is the first time I'm hearing about this. Uh, no. I've got to be careful. Otherwise, he'd get hit as well. Uh, how annoying. <sighs> no. No, I've got to stay calm and keep my composure. Hmm. When when she says grandson, does, does she mean Aurora? I'm guessing maybe they're not blood related, like grandson, but maybe maybe in a metaphorical sense. I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah, she still hasn't figured out we can read her mind. Uh, okay. Continue for and investigate. Where to next? Oh, this way. Oh, it cuts off here. Oh, wait, no, it just can't catch up with me. <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. Nope, not doing the commissions. Not yet. <laughs> there are traces of people staying here, too. Oh, wait a second. The phlogiston around here is jumbled up. Hmm. I can also smell a mix of elements in the air. Pyro, Electro, and some other elements as well. Kanich told us that you were super amazing. No wonder you can sense so many more things than us. Hey, jeez, how far are you? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time that little brat said something nice about me. <laughs> <laughs> there are signs of a struggle here. Judging from what's left on the scene, there must have been a fight. But... After that, the factions seem to have gone their separate ways. Both the phlogiston and the elemental traces in the air support that. Seems like Aurora finds a chance to fight back. Do you still remember the little mark we found before? Paimon's thinking, what if Aurora wanted to leave another distress signal, but was caught by the Fatui? <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Silali looks pretty worried. He just drinking about a distress signal from before. Aurora was being held by the Fatui. So the difference in numbers, he probably wouldn't have been able to overpower them. Given there are two signals leading from here, we should split up as well. Okay. I'll take this direction and leave the other one to you. Let's meet up again later. All right. Could be funny if I just. Aurora, what the heck were you doing? It's one thing to trouble me, but now I had to bring other people into this as well. Ah, <laughs> oh, you little brat. And out she goes. Traveler, did you hear all of that as well? Uh, yep. Once Seat Lolly left, that voice went away as well. Paimon even tried calling her name inside Paimon's head, but there was no response. So the, the telepathy doesn't go both ways. And you were thinking the same thing. Hmm. Paimon also thought that if we could hear what she was thinking, then she could probably also hear what we were thinking in our heads. I don't think she's only noticed anything. She did say that she was quite adept at this spell. And it doesn't sound like she's had any trouble with it in the past. Huh, maybe we're a special case and can hear her thoughts as a side effect. Hmm, who knows? <laughs> if you think about it, she's really got a lively inner world. <laughs> quite a different picture from Paimon's first impression of her. It really does. Alright, we're meant to go this way, but what happens? <laughs> oh, you can actually see C Lolly there. Yeah, I wanted to see what would happen if I actually followed her. Would she be like, no, wrong direction, you idiot? <laughs> hey. Uh, don't think there's anything here. How about we check out somewhere else? Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, we gotta go this way now. Let's head out. Oh god, yeah, her her like freaking floating well, thing drains crazy. quickly. Oh, well, so quickly, it seems like. Damn. I think that drains even faster than Milani's. Okay, well, this way now. 
right here. Yeah, Trace is a slow uh, flogistin, a uh, flogistin here, but. Did you find something? Hmm. Uh, I found some trace of flo uh, uh, flogistin, but the trail completely ends here. Huh. So we can't tell where Aurora might have gone from here. That's weird. The flogistin trail suddenly stops. We can't make anything of these footprints either. Hmm. But there's a ley line over there. But he can't have just evaporated into thin air, right? We know he wasn't alone. He had all those Fatui with him. Oh, that's right. This is extremely strange. Also... So, you can hear the sounds of the wind oh. from beneath the earth. Is that... Who? Aurora? Is that you? Huh? This voice is that just now. Uh, Paimon? What the fuck? Um... Um... Um? What happened? Well... What the fuck? Who? And why? The Night Kingdom? How'd I get here? I'm very sorry, but please do not ah. move. I have no desire to hurt you. Ah. I apologize that our first meeting has to take place like this. It's just that you're much like one of those animals with ears that perk up as soon as it senses danger in their environment. <laughs> you call me an animal, Roron? Come on. <laughs> and given your combat proficiency, I would not have been able to gain an advantage over you if you were anywhere else in the world. <laughs> However, you're now in the Night Kingdom, a familiar domain to the masters of the Night Wind. Oh, fuck, am I gonna have to fight him? Hello, traveler. I'm Auroron, the one you've been searching for. Hey. Oh my god, you're tall. Oh, and, and yeah, I like, I like the different eye colors he has. Hey, uh, but what does that just mean? Have you escaped Fatui's custody? Ah, the Fatui's custody. I see. So even Granny has told you that I was coerced by the Fatui. <laughs> I'm afraid you've been brought here by a lie. A what? Like a false omen in the lingering smoke. Fuck. Okay, well... Ugh. I mean, I had the feeling he was working for them willingly. It kind of seemed like that in the in 5.0. I uh. <laughs> also love that this guy kind of looks a lot like Noctis. If you play like FF14. Or no, 15, 15. Yeah, FF15. <laughs> he looks a lot like him. My friend and I only left those traces to lure you here. Deceiving you was never our true intent, however. Huh. It was simply the fastest and most feasible way for us to set up a meeting. Oh! It's the captain? Oh, fuck. You brought the captain out of here, too? Greetings, traveler from afar. Hi. Be careful with this traveler. Her soul is temporarily restrained by us, and it appears to have become more fragile in the process. It's taking all my concentration to hold on to her. It was I who tasked Aurora with leaving the traces to lead you here. Oh, and shit. And I who used the master's ritual to bring your soul to the Night Kingdom. So, you're working together. What do you want? I've heard much about you from the past encounters you've had with my colleagues. Oh, uh, yeah. Given the present situation in Natlan, I would like to sincerely request a formal meeting with you. In person. I will use the opportunity to explain my goals and motivations to you. As well as why I mistrust Malwika, the huh. High Archon. I believe there is little reason for you to blindly follow her plan. If you would like to hear our intel, then find us to the east of the stadium. But remember, not a word of this to anyone. I would like to avoid any further conflict. Hmm. The east of the stadium, okay. Wait, isn't that just the entrance <laughs> to the place? <laughs> Am I wrong? Isn't the east, like, the entrance? Are we gonna just meet out at the front door? You will see me again once you return to reality. No matter what I say, please help me keep this a secret. 
Hmm. This is all to avoid dragging Granny into this conflict. Yep. Huh. So, Capitan wants to negotiate with us. Okay. Damn, I, didn't, I was expecting him to appear there. Huh. Hey, what happened just now? You suddenly collapsed and stopped responding. Yeah, I'm fine. My soul forcibly removed from my body just now? I don't explain why I couldn't hear Pi at all. Jeez, hey, they can just do that? Why are you sitting on the ground? Are you okay? See, Lolly! She froze for a moment and then just collapsed to the ground! Could it have been those leftover remnants from the Night Kingdom? Do you have any itches or pain anywhere? Uh, I'm fine, just a little lightheaded. Uh, don't worry. We can take a short break. Sorry, I know I asked for your help. But had I known you were feeling unwell, I wouldn't have taken you on this trip with me. Hmm. If they're being truthful, they must have reasonable motivations for what they did. But should I trust them? I could just share everything with Paimon and Silali right now, but that'd be giving up on the lead. Hmm. I still haven't had much dealings with either the Fatui or the Masters of the Night Wind. I was supposed to stay quiet for now and see if I can find out anything. Okay. I mean, I would have. If, if it gave me the option, I would have agreed to that, if you anyways. Said, you should just say so. See, Lolly should be able to. Uh, exercise any ghosts or weird <laughs> stuff that you picked up in the Night Kingdom. Did she already do that, though? A seasoned traveler must know the importance of not pushing yourself beyond your limit. If you need anything from me, just say the word. Thanks, everyone. I'm feeling fine now. In any case, let's take a bit more time to rest now. Even though the situation remains quite urgent, you take a long break with Paimon Zilawi. Moron's words echo in your mind. Meanwhile, Silali continues to keep her eyes on you and he performs another checkup. <sighs> Need to be more careful next time. Feeling better yet, Traveler? Alright, let's get ready. Ready for what? The trail ends here. I followed my phlogiston trail earlier to a stronghold guarded by soldiers. Ooh. I have a feeling that Auroron is probably being held inside. Okay. Wait, so what was the plan if I decided to go the other way? <laughs> uh, I, just, I just want to point that out real quick. Uh, see, Lolly only wanted to go left. And I went right. But what if what, what would happen if we, if we swapped directions? <laughs> like, what was the plan there? I'm guessing maybe they can just rip out my soul like whenever they want. I guess maybe the whole point was to like separate us to begin with. Maybe. Hmm. Oh, so it's close by. Then let's head over right away. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize I was holding you up. Well, I recruited you to be my helper, which means we're in this together. Like the wind and the clouds. We either move as one or not at all. But if you want to make it up to me, then just be sure to fight extra hard when the time comes. <laughs> just beat him up plenty for me. Will do. We'll smack my shark right into their faces. Alright, where is it? Oh, all the way over there. Alright, let's go. All right. And oh, here we are. Hey. Look over there. I see it, alright. Huh? I don't think she sees someone in the middle of the camp. Oh, that Aurora? That's Aurora. So he really was taken by the Fatui. So that's Aurora. This looks the same when I spoke to him in the Night Kingdom earlier. All right, we'll take the lead. Let's go. Although he probably won't be too happy about me uh beating his colleagues up. Hmm? Hey, quit daydreaming. Don't you have work to do? I cannot see the sun. Uh what? <laughs> huh? Without the sun, I cannot see the truth. You are currently blocking the light, so I must beseech you to move aside. Huh? Okay, Mr. Philosopher. That's enough mumbo jumbo. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm going to rip that guy's head right off. Oh, God. Okay, jeez. Calm down, Seat Lolly. <laughs> Seat Lolly's struggling to control her temper now. The police don't explode on them. <laughs> are you ready? Let's go kick their butts. On my count. Okay. Three, two, one. Uh, okay. Wait. 
We gotta, we're not gonna form a plan? Trying to resist. Okay. You've got no idea who you're up against. All right, I guess this is just how, how it is now. All right, let's go. One, two, Nublet. Not Nublet. Uh, oh my god. 200k. Nearly. Jeez. All right, Aurora and we're... Oh, we're not done. All right, skate. One, two. Shock attack. Oh my god, 200k. Jeez. Uh, hey, hey, Aurora. We're here. Uh, Granny. Um, Paimon knows she's called Granny Eatsley, but it's still kind of weird hearing someone actually call her Granny. <laughs> and greetings to you, too. Other uh, Granny. Uh, gr gr Granny? The fuck? <laughs> what did you just call her? Huh? Does she just call? Does he just call everybody Granny? <laughs> granny. Is that not right? You are Granny's friend, are you not? Uh, you seem to be approximately the same age as her, so I figured you're also a granny. I mean, the traveler's old, but not that old, right? Right? How many times have I told you? It doesn't work like that. <laughs> there are a lot of people who look about the same age as me. You can't go around calling everyone Gramps or Granny. Wait, wait, wait. He's not a child. Is he? Oh God! Don't Please don't tell me that. People who look like an adult but are actually only eight or nine years old. Oh, your words have pierced my heart like a thorn vine. <laughs> Given how hard those thorns are to remove, I may just need to find a pair of tweezers. <laughs> what a fucking whiplash of character! What? <laughs> he was all being edgy like five minutes ago. Now he's just <laughs> being a complete fucking dweeb. What? <laughs> Of course I'm not a child. It's just, Granny always taught me to show gratitude where it's due. And since the Masters of the Night Wind raised me collectively, I basically see everyone above a certain age as an elder I should look up to. Hmm. But now that he, like, interrogated my soul and whatnot, don't I already know he's on the Fatui side? Isn't this, like, all part of his plan? Like, hmm. The way he talks definitely changed, but I just feel like he's putting on an act. He asked me to do whatever I could to help to keep it a secret, and he even said it'd be for Seat Lolly's sake. So I treat uncle, everyone like they're your uncles and aunties, so you treat everyone like they're grabs and grannies. Exactly. Huh. Uh, but if you keep that up, then everyone's going to be your senior. And do you think saying all of this is going to save you from a scolding, Auroron? Oh boy. <laughs> Haven't I told you a hundred times since you were a kid? Heed the three warnings. Be wary of beasts prowling around, scammers looking for their next victim, <laughs> strange people who appear out of nowhere. Yeah, make, make, make see Lolly is Aurora's freaking grandmother. Oh, so you do remember and you just chose to ignore them. Oh, God. I always knew that living on your own was going to get you into trouble sooner or later. But getting kidnapped? <laughs> that really takes the cake. You won't always be able to rely on other people coming to your rescue, you know. You're just lucky we got here when we did. Or we might be launching another search and rescue operation to find out where they put your severed head. <laughs> I'm sorry, Granny. I'll be more careful next time. <laughs> he sounds... He sounds so, so, so sad. <laughs> what the heck? Next time? <laughs> oh, good one. You think there'll be a next time after this? Not a chance. This is thing as shit. <laughs> Keep arguing. <sighs> they didn't hurt you, did they? No, they just asked me a lot of questions about Natlin's terrain and made me draw a map of the ley line distribution. Okay, now answer me honestly. Were you the one who helped the captain escape after his battle with the Pyro Archon? Uh, yes. Oh. So why did you do it? Because... Because? Because they said they would need my help from there on out. They also said that if I refused, they'd just come to you, Granny, and they'd already figured out a way to make you do their bidding. Oh, shit. Hey! I'm no ordinary Granny! Would they really dare to come after me? <laughs> and you! Did the gods give you a brain just for you to not use it? Did you really believe everything they said at face value? And not stop to think? 
Oh, thankfully, the Pyro Archon only asked that we find the mysterious individual from the Masters of the Nightwind and didn't slap your name on a wanted poster. Don't think for a second that she doesn't know what's happening. Even if the truth that you see will soon manifest into reality, there is still no need to preemptively panic. Have you forgotten the words that I've taught you? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> Ugh, forget it. We can submit the details of this camp and the defeated Fatui as evidence of your innocence. Let's clean this place up and get back to the city. Auroron, you better remember this lesson well and seriously reflect on your actions. Also, once we return to the city, come to the speaker's chamber with me. I'll need you to explain everything. Sounds good. Should I bring some of my homegrown vegetables as well? <laughs> Why would you need to do that? <laughs> Your vegetables? <laughs> yes. I grow a lot of fresh produce in my garden. I hope the Pyro Archon won't be too picky about the selection. Uh, now's not the time to be thinking about that. If you do come face to face with the Pyro Archon, the first thing you should do is... Recite the three warnings. Huh? Oh, no! <laughs> you should emphasize that you were not in cahoots with the Fatui! <laughs> How exactly did the Masters raise this guy? I don't know. Don't ask me. <laughs> but I'm enjoying this. Please keep arguing. Oh. Right. <laughs> One moment he's acting like a complete intro. Now he looks like a six-year-old boy. Like, what? <laughs> Please keep arguing. This is really, really entertaining for my soul. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, we got him now, even though we... I guess we kind of know he's working with the, for the Fatui, but... I uh, guess we're going to keep silent about that until much later on. Like, yeah, is he playing dumb? Is he just playing stupid to uh, not get any suspicions from Sitlali? He might be, honestly. Or maybe that's just how he actually is. I don't know. Uh, you return to the city and Silai brings you to the speaker's chamber, where you recount everything that's happened to Auroron. I see. So Auroron came to the captain's rescue because he promised to help him in exchange for Seat Lolly's safety. Where the hell did this sheriff come from? That's right. I'm sorry. Now that you know Auroron was only trying to protect another member of his tribe, could I ask you to petition the Pyro Archon for her forgiveness? We'll give her a full report. I'll let you know once she's reached a decision. Will I need to stay here? Technically, yes. But if Miss Seat Lolly is willing to serve as your guarantor, then we can release you from custody. Ah, uh, sure. I'd be happy to do that. <laughs> I don't have any more time to waste here. I still have other things to do. Understood. Thank you very much. Mr. Auroron! Please report back to the speaker's chamber as soon as you've received notice of the Archon's decision. I understand. Thank you. And thank you too, Granny. <laughs> I thought he was gonna call the other guy Grandpa for a second. Alright, thanks, Gramps. What? What the fuck? <laughs> I honestly wanted that, to be honest. <sighs> well, at least you won't need to hide your face anymore. Traveler, Paimon, thank you very much for your help. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about my side of the deal. Once Auroron is settled, I'll go talk to Shilonen and get started on forging an ancient name for you. Oh, thank you! I'll be counting on you. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. It's as good as done. You can just go twiddle your thumbs or something while you wait for the good news. Yeah. Bye for now. All right. Come with me, Auroron. Later, Silali. You've got to find you a place to stay for the night. Yes, mom. Goodbye, other granny. <laughs> this new grandson of mine is way too polite. Hmm. Uh. Yes, I understand the deal. Look on his face. He's probably trying to remind me about my promise. But it doesn't strike me as a liar. Had I not seen everything for myself, I'd never guess he could have been... I could have done so much work behind St. Alex's back. What does he really want? We're finally done. All right, it's time to find some grub. Pamela, there's something I need to tell you. Huh? What is it, Traveler? Um, go eat by yourself. It's you pull Paimon aside and tell everything you saw earlier. What? You. The captain? 
Uh, psh, keep your voice down. Uh, sorry. Paimon just didn't see that coming. So you really saw him in the Night Kingdom? And he didn't attack you? Oh, that Aurora, what is he up to? He sounded earnest enough just now. Paimon would have never guessed anything was happening. Mm. All that stuff about protecting Seat Lolly and being forced to help the Fatui, when he's actually been a willing accomplice all along. I'm not completely sure. We still need more information. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Still, Paimon appreciates you telling her about this. Paimon will support your choice no matter what, so if you want to go, we can go together. We still have another whole day before the meeting, so we'll just meet with them when the time comes. Okay, wait till 8 the next day. And what, the east of the stadium, right? Yeah, isn't the east like right here? <laughs> Well, it's probably like maybe more around like these areas or maybe like outside the stadium, but I was gonna say, yeah, it's the east outside the stadium, like it near the entrance of the stadium. Like, <laughs> we're not gonna meet there, are we? And yeah, probably the answer is no. Okay, let's go uh, refresh it a little bit here, refresh your time, and uh, yep, eat the next day. Also, yeah, this uh, arc quest has been going on for like what? Okay, we've been in like more than an hour into this arc quest. I feel like. Not out of Act Three by a good shot here. I will just say this: if it, uh, if we reach to like, yeah, if we go on for like another hour and the arc quest does not end, um, then yeah, I think I will save Act Four for tomorrow, just for time's sake. I don't want to like cut off the uh, like story halfway. Oh, eat the next day. Wait, like, yeah, this, <laughs> 8 p.m. Not a.m. I'm a dumbass. All right, go to the agreed location. Okay, yeah, it's just way out here, <laughs> way outside the city. Although, couldn't I still run to people like coming into the city from there? I don't know. Seems like a shitty location to uh, meet up for a super secret meeting between criminals. But okay. Yeah. All right. I'm here. Oh, someone's got a little camp set up. It's a very Weird. small camp. Paimon doesn't see anyone. Oh, please don't let this be a trap. Also, why did I bring you along? I thought I was going to leave you behind or something. <laughs> like, leave you in that or something, and you, like, call for help if something happens to me. <laughs> like, did the captain say come alone? <laughs> oh. Someone hiding in the bush. Oh, hey. What was that? <laughs> Good evening. Nice to see you again. Hi, grandson. Oh, it's you. You shouldn't pop up from behind people like that. What are you, a ghost? I'm terribly sorry. It's just a force of habit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're totally 100% to get in Genshin's mose. Oh, and what's with you apologizing all the time? You sound so polite and honest, but you're actually doing shady stuff behind people's backs. You're right. Granny tells me that too. Yeah. Huh. Come to think of it, you remind me of her. Sometimes you two sound really similar, you know. Me. Oh, so you're gonna call Paimon Granny too now? Well, I could. What's the purpose of this meeting? <laughs> Let's get straight to the point. Hmm. Capitano? He can be here? It's all clear. Over to you. Uh, okay. Excellent. Whoa! The fact that you showed up proves that I was right about your character. Where the hell were you hiding? <laughs> uh, I'm more interested in intel. I don't really care how the Fatui thinks of me. Intel is what I'm interested in. Yet, there's been a lot of talk about you. Hmm. Child told me that you're passionate about the unknown and willing to take risks. Rather than facing you as an enemy, I would much prefer to bring you to my side. If we allow the current state of things to continue, we will inevitably clash. And that's a scenario that I'd very much like to avoid. Why? I've long heard of your exploits across the nations. Mm. Though you have crossed swords with my colleagues many times, I know that you are by no means an unreasonable person. And once you've learned the truth that the Pyro Archon Mauwika would never willingly share with you, you may just find it in your heart to consider my proposal. I assume you've already been informed of the Pyro Archon's plan. Uh -huh. In order to defeat the Abyss and save Natlan, 
She still needs two more heroes to appear. Right? Wait, how did you know that? Uh, never mind. Guess that's not important now. Suppose not. I've long kept a close eye on her plan. To be frank, it's an exceedingly risky plan. Will the heroes really appear? And even if they come to her, will their power be enough to drive the Abyss back? Yeah, not so much we have less than a year to go, so... You know, there is some, uh, little... Yeah, very, very huge risk in the plan. Hmm. If any part of the plan goes awry, all of Natlan, even all of Tavat, will pay for her mistakes. Now, you may have been led to believe that this is the only plan available to her. But what if I told you she's had another emergency plan all along? The details of which she has chosen to keep hidden from you. Hmm. Also, it sounds like, yeah, he has like a little, like, face mask over, like, underneath his, uh, helmet mask. Like, you can actually, like, make out the lines of his, uh, like, nose and mouth and everything. So, he does have an actual face underneath that. An emergency mm. plan? Yes. A way to keep Natlan intact, even if her original plan fails. But given the painful cost of its execution, uh -oh. she has chosen to keep it as a mere backup plan. Whether this stems from hesitation, fear, or even naivete, I cannot say. But Natlan cannot afford to wait until she comes to her senses. My fear is that given the enormity of the decision, she will be reluctant to confront the dire reality we face until it is too late. There will be no time left to execute the backup plan, and all of Natlan will be lost to the abyss. We have to make the decision for her, here and now. That's just your speculation. How do you know she has a plan, a backup plan? Yeah, do you have any evidence for all this? Just telling us a bunch of scary stuff isn't enough, you know. Besides, wasn't it you who tried to seize the Gnosis for the Tsaritsa plan? Wait, by seizing the Gnosis and making decisions for her, could he mean that the Gnosis has something to do with that backup plan? I knew you'd be clever enough to see. Huh. That's right. I did not seek the Gnosis for the Tsaritsa. Since I was defeated in battle, I must put to rest my thoughts about the Gnosis. But even so, my desire to save Natlan remains unchanged. Hmm. Why? Are you from here? And now, I have found a new way to solve the crisis. We can implement it immediately if we reach an agreement. <clears throat> oh. Who's approaching? Somebody spying on us? Someone's here. Oh, shit. Huh? The captain disappeared! Oh my god, he's like Batman. What the hell? Uh... Is it Lolly? Something is rapidly approaching. Oh, no. Oh. Who? Something. What? Something! Oh, Bad fucking hell! <laughs> jump. It's your granny! God damn it! I should have known she wasn't tricked by any of this. I fucking knew it. She She's not so easily fooled. <laughs> oh my god, she fucking tigered out the shit out of uh, fucking Aurora. <laughs> See, Lolly, when did you get here? <sighs> I knew something was amiss after we were separated. No. Nope. Hidden ceremonial tools, an unconscious traveler. I must say, I'm very curious about what you're up to. <laughs> How dare you go behind our backs like this, Aurora? Colluding with the Fatui? Really? Uh. Oh, here we go again. Cat got your tongue, huh? You really think you can avoid a scolding just by staying quiet? She really is an abuela. <laughs> she really is. A hundred percent and ten percent. I'm not trying to avoid anything. <laughs> oh, and now you're talking back. Well, go on then. Explain yourself. What the heck are you up to? I'm sorry, Granny. I feel so guilty. <laughs> Don't play dumb now. <laughs> She's not gonna buy your shit. Ah, uh, you! That's it! Where are my tools? I swear, if I don't teach you a lesson right here and now, I'll... <laughs> uh, wait, see, Lolly! Please, calm down. We, uh, still learned a lot of info, didn't we? Like the fact that the captain isn't trying to seize the Gnosis anymore. Yeah, she's about to whip out that slipper and smack, <laughs> smack her on <around> silly. <laughs> Jeez. Maybe just save the scolding for later, okay? Yeah, this is no place to discipline a child. Not yet, anyways. Uh, listen well, Auroron. 
You're only getting out of this now because of the Traveler's plea. This isn't over, you hear me? Ah, <sighs> you're right, Traveler. Let's go. We can discuss this more back in the city. You two keep an eye on Auroron for me, okay? Alright. I hope he doesn't disappear too. A conversation with the captain was interrupted at the most crucial moment, but if Auron is still here, maybe we can still learn the rest from him. He's smiling at me some more. <laughs> the general in his labyrinth. Yeah, where the hell did he go? Man, it's just like Batman. Okay, return to the stadium. Yeah, how the hell? Where'd he even go? Or can he even hide in a rock like this? Unless he has like freaking teleport powers. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. Fucking one punch seat Lottie just jumping out of nowhere. I follow the wind. I, I had I knew she wasn't that stupid. I, I had the feeling she like Time to go. at least knew somewhat yeah. what was going on. Like come on, they'd be able to be super smart. She wouldn't be deceived this easily. Oh, in all my years, I've never had a child cause me so much grief. Do you seriously not see what's at stake here? You've got a head on your shoulders, Auroron. Use it! <laughs> Why did you help the captain? And I want the truth this time. Uh. Uh. <laughs> no answer? Think you're being smart? <sighs> then let me ask a different question. What does the captain want? What is his purpose in Natlan? Uh... uh. <laughs> <sighs> really? You're just going to stonewall me? Uh. <laughs> Come on, say something. Looks like Aurora has no intention of asking her. Just use your brain for a second. What do you possibly stand to gain by helping the captain? Only endless trouble awaits you and everyone in the tribe. You've always been a good kid. Why would you throw that all away now? If you're worried about something, just talk to me. Granny would much rather we had a conversation instead of constantly clashing like this. Um. No. Oh. <laughs> he seems jelly sad. Uh. Why is he staring at us all of a sudden? Don't give me the puppy dog eyes. I'm sorry that you have to hear all this. <laughs> it's fine. Well, it's definitely a little awkward. Nah, that's setting his health. Keep arguing. You're very kind. Most people would have fled by now. Not everyone can handle Granny's scolding. Yeah, being an Asian myself and having Asian parents. Uh, yeah, I'm used to it. Oh, you dare gossip between <laughs> yourselves instead of listening to me? <laughs> you. <laughs> uh. Uh, sorry, sorry, Granny. Apologies, we're coming. Please don't bring out your slipper. <sighs> sorry, Granny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh God! Sorry, Granny. Oh God, she's you know losing what? it. Fine. I'm perfectly aware that everything I say goes in one ear and out the other. Oh God. You're all grown up now. So why would you listen to an old hag like me? You say all the right things, but then you go and completely ignore me. Well, if that's how you're going to treat me, you can stop sending Efa over to my place to deliver your stupid vegetables. Oh God. I don't need anything from you. Um. Who's Aoife? A delivery person? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's irrelevant. The point is, he hangs out with this kid, so he must be no good. Uh, you kids get to a certain age and suddenly act like you know it all. There's nothing I can say to get through to you. Auroron, if you're still thinking about that so-called duty, then please, just forget about it. The ley lines did not fall to this state because of you. And we've long closed the book on that incident. Huh? That duty? Uh, oh. Seems they've started talking about some kind of tribal history. Yeah. <laughs> I'm starting to get lost. Same here. <laughs> That's not it, Granny. Yeah. Now he speaks, so oh, the music cut off. Huh? Something off about that voice. I know you tend to get down on yourself when you're upset, but I can tell I really hurt you this time. All I can say is I'm sorry. Hmm. His voice. Auroron! Where have you gone? What? 
Did his soul get swapped with another one? What is going on? It sounds like he's somewhere super far away, but isn't he right here in front of us? I'm really sorry. It's oh. up to all of us to do everything we can to save Natlan. So I've got to go. What? Hey! Get back here this instant! Auroron! Ugh, what is this? Powder from plant spores? Is that the trick he used? What? Is that how he made a clone of himself? <laughs> what? What just happened? How was he able to suddenly get so far away like that? <laughs> also, I love he was like just kind of screaming all the way from there. Just, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I gotta go now. Bye. You get back here, young man. <laughs> oh, it's a trick of his. If you grind spores into a powder and spray it in the air, it can be manipulated to create an illusion. Seriously? He pulled it off flawlessly. He must have put a lot of time into perfecting it. Don't tell me that's how he's been hunting in the fields these days. Oh, couldn't he have picked up something more useful? Ugh, little brat. <laughs> that's it. The next time we meet, I'm definitely going to break his legs. Oh god, see Lolly, calm down, calm down. <laughs> Whoa, that's a little extreme. <laughs> but still, why does he feel like he needs to run from us? If his goal is also to protect Natland, then can't we work together? He still doesn't want to tell us anything about his goals. Uh, hmm. I'm sorry for interrupting your conversation with them earlier. But even if you'd been able to hear them out, there's no guarantee you would have gained anything substantial. Auroron probably did everything he could to get away because he knew I'd get the truth out of him sooner or later. Ah, oh, that brat. I swear. <laughs> The captain probably had some sort of su substantial plan. Otherwise, Aurora would have no reason to keep following him. Also, I've got to say, this one act seems to be heavily involving Sitlali more than uh, Shilonen. I feel like she's meant to be released in this update, honestly. I, I feel like, yeah, uh, Sitlali was meant to release in this update. But maybe they just couldn't for some reason. Hmm. Me again is out of the cars for now, so it might be faster to just approach a pirate archon and confirm what the captain said. And also, it's a little Ron's stubbornness has hurt Lali deeply. We need to find a way to come to comfort her. What was that about uh, about Ron's duty earlier? Uh, uh, we've got quite a long walk back to the city. Hmm. Let's take our time. It'll give me a moment to figure out how to explain all this. Alrighty, you gotcha. Hmm. Return to the stadium. Will do. And TP. Hmm. Was it a mistake he made or something? Do you two have some time? Feeling hungry? How about we get something to eat? Alright, it's been a while since we last ate. Now that we can relax, Paimon just realized how hungry she is. Yeah. Ah, uh, then let's go. We can find somewhere to sit down and talk. Food and drinks are on me. It's okay. We can cover our own bill. paimon has got her own secret food fuss, so she can do the hunters. <laughs> How did this become Paimon's bill? <laughs> it's always your bill. I'm not gonna spend my mora. No, I'm gonna spend that on a chilo then. You just do your own thing, alright? You pay for all my food now. Looks quite down on herself. All right, all right. It's on Paimon this time. What's one meal to the best guide into that? <laughs> so you can just sit back and enjoy, Sweet Lolly. Paimon will take care of it. Hey, come on now. You won't even let me take you out for some food and drinks? <sighs> I just wanted to treat you to a meal. Uh, are you sure? We can save you some Mora! <laughs> uh, Mora is the least of my concerns. Yep. Besides, we're definitely due a meal after all the time we've spent together. Let me get this one. I might be an old hag, but I like to think I'm not completely useless. Sure, that's fine with us, but... Paimon doesn't want you to be sad, Seat Lolly. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure a juicy grilled steak will work wonders. Ooh, yes, I could actually go for that. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> yeah, so far I'm loving Seat Lolly so far. She's by far my 
I feel like I, um, I have a new favorite character now, Natlin, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. See, Lolly. I know why, but yeah, I'm kind. I'm really, really liking her so far. I really am. Oh, hey, back here. Yeah, I think I'll 100% be trying to save up for Seat Lolly now on this account. <laughs> Three of you walk into a tavern and find a quiet spot to sit. You and Paimon order some food and fruit juice while Seat Lolly begins chugging down a bottle of, a pot of wine. Oh god, she. Oh my god, no, it's gonna be the drunk scene, isn't it? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Uh, do you see two people standing by the door? <laughs> they look like spitting images of each other. <laughs> Are they twins? Nah, that's just uh, Mihoi's NPC designs in this game. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> but Paimon only sees one person there. <laughs> huh? Oh, how could that be? <laughs> uh, I guess my mind isn't as sharp as it used to be. Oh god. Give me another bottle, boss! Oh no. <laughs> uh, do you think she's drunk? I'd be surprised if she wasn't. There you go, miss. Oh my! It's not every day you get to see Granny Itzli here with some friends. Not to mention ones who've made a huge name for themselves recently. <laughs> oh, so you've heard of us? <laughs> of course I have. Aren't you the ones who saved Kachina and brought her back? No wonder you hit it off with Granny Seed Lolly. She wouldn't spend time with just anybody, you know. <sighs> I don't even remember the last time I saw her with a new friend. Uh, Wait, so you call her Granny too? <laughs> it seems like everybody does. Well, given our ages, it'd probably be more accurate for me to call her my great great granny. Uh, yep. <laughs> She's one of the most famous people at the Masters of the Night Wind. Most days, hardly anyone even dares talk to her. Yeah, she's got about like 500 or something. Some, some me ish old. Huh? Gossiping about me right in front of my <laughs> face now, are you, Chanka? Oh, please, Granny. I wouldn't dare. I'm just beyond happy to see you bring over some new friends. After all, any friends of our regulars are sure to be great customers, too. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Now, I'm sure the other customers would like to talk to you as well. There's no need to keep staring at me. I promise I'll keep my alcohol down until I leave. <laughs> well then, you have my thanks. <laughs> As uh, Chanka leaves, it lolly downs a few more glasses and begins to stamp like me into, into space for a chair. Oh god. <laughs> you start to wonder whether she's actually drunk or working through some complex problems in her head. Uh, yep. <laughs> oh boy. Seat Lolly? Seat Lolly? Uh, who's that? Uh, you got some gall calling me by my first name. <laughs> uh, let me guess. You want to test your skills against Granny Eatsley, don't ya? Uh, no, 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 no. Please don't kill us. <laughs> uh, are you still with us, Lolly? You're kind of talking to no one. Uh, you just uh. come around here picking fights with me. Uh. You know what happens next. <laughs> you lose and then run off home to tell everyone about how I'm this big, scary bully. <laughs> it's always the same story. You brat start it, I finish it, and then I end up with the reputation of being some kind of terrible monster <laughs> among the shamans. Did I, you, you okay? I mean, come on. Monster? Me? Really? What did I do to deserve that? <laughs> Granny Seat Lolly, you're not a monster at all. Exactly! <laughs> and while we're at it, I'm not some lazy slacker either. Between meditation, advising the chief, and speaking with the Wyab, I actually have a pretty packed schedule, you know! <laughs> That's a mood, right? That's a screenshot I'm gonna take right there. <laughs> Alright! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh yeah! 
And I have to mentor all the new kids. <laughs> hey, uh, new kid. Yeah, you. Who, who, who me? I, I, I guess I'm a new kid. Uh, don't play dumb. Didn't I teach you how to find Flo Justin? Oh, God. You see? I know my stuff. Oh, boy. I'm a good teacher. You tell him. A absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Matt, for all your teaching, ma'am. Oh, that's more like it. About dang time someone showed me a little respect. <laughs> yeah, Granny's a hard worker, all right. Oh, you God. You can always rely on old Granny. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> okay, good. She's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. She's finally calmed down. Good lord. <laughs> that was great. That was a great scene. Did she just fall asleep with her eyes open? <laughs> oh, jeez. Behind this pitch black curtain, a chapter of hatred reveals itself. Oh, God. Behind the smoke, the lingering smoke. Ah, she's meditating again. She does this whenever she's had a few too many drinks. Her mind's actually racing at this point. <laughs> it's quite the opposite of sleep. Is this another specialty of the Masters of the Nightwing? Nah, she, it's just her. <laughs> no, I'd say it's an ability that's unique to Sitlali herself. While she can easily pick up everyone else's skills and tricks, few have been able to master hers. Warning, warning. Oh, red. God. <laughs> red, the color of danger, has now arisen within that pair of eyes. Uh, seems like she's talking gibberish to me. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Salai, do we have you back? <laughs> uh, are you awake? Uh, traveler? Paimon? I... What's wrong? Uh, uh, oh, God. I'm gonna hurl. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Go to the bathroom. Hang on. Just keep it in. Not on the table. Not on the food. Uh, uh, phew. Ew. Okay, it's passed. Uh, that was a close one. Oh, God. <laughs> you had Paimon worried. Paimon really thought you were about to barf all over the table just now. Uh, how embarrassing. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. That's never happened before, I swear. I've never thrown up. <laughs> Not once. Yeah, yeah sure, sure. Uh, we never asked about before. No, we didn't ask about before, yeah. Are you feeling okay? Wanna take a quick walk and get some fresh air? Oh, you know, you wanna go to sleep and, uh, sober yourself up? Uh, uh, there's so much that I wanna say, but... I can't. Oh, come on, why not? Why not? Of course you can. Just say whatever's on your mind. Uh, please, Paimon. It's not as simple as you think. We've only known each other for a few days, right? What would you think of me if I were to start dumping all of my complaints on you after we've only just met? Oh, Paimon gets it. You're hoping that we wouldn't think less of you no matter what you're about to say. Uh, no, that wasn't my point at all! Seriously, <laughs> don't you youngsters know anything about shame? I'm talking about shame! I've lived all these years and still can't get rid of it! Surely, you know the feeling, too? Um... Actually? <laughs> uh... Sh 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 should we just tell her that we can read her mind? Um... Huh? Tell me what? Uh, we could read your thoughts. <laughs> yeah! This is as good a time as any! Uh, we just gotta hope she doesn't kill us after this. Um... Alright, see, Lolly. Uh... Listen carefully and try not to get too upset. You just got the events that took place during Aurora's rescue, objectively, fairly, and, and as impartially as possible. To allow you to share some of her senses with you through a spell, allowing you to temporarily hear her thoughts. Uh, oh god. Oh god. This is so... you heard... You heard my... It's okay, C. Lolly. You had every right to complain about those things. Uh, I can't take it anymore! Why do these things happen to me? <laughs> hearing me mumble under my breath is one thing, but hearing what I mumble in my own head? That's too much. It's just like when you're rolling on the floor in your pajamas, but you forget to lock the door, and someone bursts in to deliver cabbages and sees the whole thing. Um, uh, what? 
Did that actually happen? So that, uh... <laughs> Happens to you a lot. It happens to people in general, okay? <laughs> I don't think so. If you're 200 years old or a thousand years old. <laughs> Everyone rolls around in their pajamas sometimes. <laughs> I was just picking something generic. <laughs> <sighs> uh, are you okay? You look dejected. Take a walk with me. I have things to share with you. Looks like she's completely given up. Like those criminals who just confess everything and accept their fate. Uh, we should follow her. Just to make sure that she doesn't do anything stupid. <laughs> what a great fucking scene. Oh my goodness. That was... That was so fucking good. What the... <laughs> uh, I, I almost see Lolly. Yeah, I, I'm pulling for her water at 10%. For sure. All right, uh, fossil lighting to a different spot. All right, where? All right, here. <laughs> yep, she's definitely gonna be uh, my number one pull now. <laughs> after, uh, after uh, Sheila Den here. Though I'm kind of surprised that they released Sheila Den in this update where it seems like, or well, this act anyway, it seems mostly focused on Sheila yeah, it makes me think that maybe uh, C. Lady was supposed to release in this update. <laughs> hmm, maybe. Then again, <laughs> I don't know how the way Mihoyo like releases characters. Ah, oh, well, great view, right? I love coming here by myself. Wow, oh yeah. Beautiful. Thank you for bringing us here. <laughs> You're making me want to cry. No. Oh no. Don't. What do we do? Please don't cry. I was an expression, okay? A figure of speech. <laughs> I'm just... Uh, embarrassed. Here you are thanking me. Even after you helped me all this time. Let's just have a casual conversation. <laughs> it's easiest that way. Really? You don't seem like the kind of person who keeps things casual. Well, I guess I used to be more of a stickler for the rules. And you're right. I don't usually open up to the people of my tribe like this. I'm just an eccentric old hag to them. That story's been passed down so long. It might as well be true. Uh. Well, you're just a regular person. <laughs> uh, the kids of my tribe would have a heart attack if they heard you say that. Granny Eatsley is a powerful figure. Be careful around her. That's what they'd say. Well, you are powerful. Are they afraid of you? <laughs> uh, some are. Others are mad I always come out on top. Uh. <laughs> a few decades like that. And people stop knowing how to deal with you. Uh. What about you? Are you scared of me? Hell nah. We don't find you scary at all. <laughs> oh, that's right. If anything, you're funny to be around. <laughs> huh. That's because you're not from my tribe. You don't know how many delusions of grandeur I've destroyed just by existing. I make people realize that no matter how hard they work, they'll never become a living legend like me. Oh, uh, not to brag or anything. <laughs> Maybe it's hard to believe. Just... Just pretend I never said anything. We believe you. Shilonen has full faith in your abilities, and Aurora didn't seem scared of you. He thinks of you as his granny, right? Hmm. Yes, but Aurora's a special case. Now so. Malika already told you about her plan. And you've given so much help to Aurora and me. You deserve to learn the full truth. Let's hear it, yeah. Not like other people. As I mentioned, he was abandoned as a child. The reason being, mm. his soul is incomplete. Oh. The masters of the Nightwind view this as a bad omen, capable of bringing about illness and misfortune. His soul is incomplete? What the hell's that mean? No one knows who his parents were. He was just. Left on a rock in the wilderness. Oh. It's a miracle he wasn't devoured by some wild beast. 
The masters of the Nightwind believe they can see human souls. And in Auroron's incomplete soul, they saw a possibility for Natlan. A possibility to turn Auroron into a vessel for lost souls. Vessel for lost what? The ceremony would mean? allow lost souls to gather within him. Auroron would then be sent to the Night Kingdom to return the souls to their rightful place. Huh. Strengthening the ley lines and completing the ceremony. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Saying a living person is a night killer? What? That just kill him? Now you see the problem. Huh. When damage occurs to the Night Kingdom, the souls held within disperse and remain adrift. Unable to find a way back to the ley lines. This loss of souls damages the Night Kingdom even further. Hmm. The ceremony can send back countless souls at once, which would benefit the Night Kingdom and the souls themselves. Of course, the vessel, Auroron, would be sacrificed in the process. Ah. I wasn't surprised the Chief at the time came up with the plan. The ley lines were already in a terrible state. A suitable candidate for the ceremony appears? And now you have the chance to make things better. Of course you're going to take it. Hmm. When the Chief asked for my opinion, I didn't give my approval, but I didn't object either. Huh. So they went ahead with the ceremony. It failed, and Auroron escaped with his life. Jeez. Huh. Uh. Pathetic, isn't it? By not objecting, I basically gave them the go-ahead. Maybe they didn't have my explicit approval, but it's not like I did the right thing. Hmm. If the ceremony was successful, Auroron would probably be dead. Of course, in my tribe, death is rarely something to fear. But what kind of message would we be sending by sentencing a newborn to death? Mm. By using a human life as a tool? That's fucked, is it? And that did happen to Auroron. Like, thank God he's alive, but damn. Yeah, the... The Knights, uh, Masters of Night Wind Tribe don't seem, uh, that great for faction. <laughs> it's not right. So... When I learned the ceremony had failed, I was ashamed by my inaction and absolutely relieved by the result. The plan was never a secret. Hmm. Or, I guess I should say, there was no point to keeping it a secret. A simple investigation from Auroron would reveal everything. Everyone thought he would be happy he survived. And he never really said anything to the contrary. But... Just as I was about to put all of it behind me, he asks this question. Would Natlan have been saved if the ceremony succeeded? Wait, but it's not his fault. He knows that, but he still feels guilty. Hmm. Auroron has a strong ability to perceive souls. Oh yeah, like he walks in the mind. He understands just how dire the situation with ley lines has become. Maybe he chose to work with the Fatui because he still thinks he owes a debt to Natlan. I can only imagine what they told him. Traveler, didn't the captain say he found a way to solve the crisis? Hmm. Maybe that's what brought Auroron into this. That's what I'm thinking too, yeah. Anyway, we can't just let things go on like this. We have to convince him to come back. Yeah, that should be our next step. I... Maybe. Good seat, Lolly. Maybe you should head back and get some sleep. Uh, probably drank too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, the fresh air is doing me good. Oh God! Okay. Please help you. Uh, forget that. I need to go home. Don't worry. You hit it a little too hard. Uh, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. You don't have to do any of this alone. Uh, you've helped me so much already. How do I? even begin to thank you. Hey, we're friends, aren't we? Besides, you already said you owe us a favor, so you don't need to worry about us. Uh, good point. Well, I'll go home and get some sleep. We can figure out our next move in the morning. 
Alrighty. Oh, see you then. Friends. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Aw. Oh, that's a cute little pose. I'm gonna screenshot that. That's adorable. Alright. Next time, see Lolly. Uh, yeah, we should tell the Pyrocon what we learned. You mean about the backup plan? Hmm. Do you really believe what the captain told us? She needs to know regardless. We should just be up front of her. Yeah, you're right. We should just go to her directly. Hmm. But she's probably asleep. We can find her first thing in the morning. Or no, let's... <laughs> go to bed. Do Arcos even need to sleep? I wonder that myself sometimes. Oh, and it seems like Act 3 is not over just yet. So yeah, but we'll, we'll keep going here. I think, yeah, I think at this rate, I definitely won't be able to complete Act 4 in today's stream. I think I'm going to save that for tomorrow. But first of all, yeah, I see this, uh, I see this over here. So I'm just going to go clean this church out real quick. I'm not even sure how, like, how I missed it in the first place. All right, get him. All right, open up. A fateful offering. Fateful offering. All right. Uh, right. Strategy. Hang on, my artifact inventory space is full. Again. God. Okay, I really gotta start getting rid of some of these, like these ones, for example. Oh man. Oh yeah, please increase the artifact inventory space limit. Or you know, find a better way to sort through artifacts. This is so annoying every time. Uh, all right. So, bitch. Yeah, we'll continue on here. Um, until the very end. Uh, here we go. Yeah, I think I'll save Act Four for tomorrow's stream. Besides, it might be a good stopping point for uh for the quest anyhow. All right, in we get. Hmm. Sleep. You probably expect like. Oh. Oh god, what's going on? Guess we should see what's going on. You know, part of me expects like when they sleep. I don't know. It would, it would be really cute if like if they went to bed and that uh. You know, the traveler kind of like hugged Paimon like a little toy <laughs> or like a like as he went to sleep. I think that would have been really, really cute if they did like animate that. Because I don't know, I could just kind of headcanon um, traveler sleeping like that. But OK, what's uh, what's going on outside? Who's who's making noise out there? What's going on out here? Oh, see, see Lolly? Hi. Uh, you're already here. I was just about to come get you. Wow, you're up early. Oh. That's impressive. Especially after all the drinking last night. Yeah. Let's not bring up last night. I'm embarrassed about the whole thing. Anyway, I was also woken up by the commotion. Looks like all the warriors from the stadium are on the move. But why? I heard many areas have been attacked by the Abyss. Oh, shoot. Including the Masters of the Nightwind. I need to head back right away. The Abyss attacked again? Are you sure you can handle it on your own? Do you need our help? I'll be fine. We also have the support of the warriors stationed at the various outposts. Given the quick response, things shouldn't get too serious. Hopefully. The stadium could always use more manpower, so you should join the forces here. What about Roron? I'm done making excuses for him. He's not a child anymore. He needs to take responsibility for his actions. I was the one who vouched for him, so I need to report back to the speaker's chamber. I'll accept however they choose to handle the situation. But I should be able to convince them to let me go back to my tribe first to deal with the attack. As for the ancient name, once we handle this crisis, mm. I'll talk to Shilonen right away. Don't worry. I never forget a promise to a friend. All right, be careful. I'll keep an eye out for a roll run as well. Thank you. All right, I need to start heading back. See you around. You left in a hurry. The situation must be really serious. Hmm. Uh, oh, 
Oh, looks like a lot of people are heading to the stadium. Let's see what's going on. Let's. Like, how bad are we talking here? The point that everybody needs to move. Okay. Um. So I gotta go to the center somehow. Uh. Oh, here. Move it. No. Hey, everyone. Traveler over here. Oh, perfect. Our star Outlander has appeared. Oh, you're all here. But uh, what's with the whole star Outlander thing? Is that what I'm called now? Just my way of saying how awesome you are. We've got a real emergency on our hands, so this is the perfect time for you to show off your skills. All right, but can we get a quick rundown of the situation first? The Abyss suddenly attacked the Collective of Plenty, the Masters of the Nightwind, the Children of Echoes, and a number of our camps and outposts in the wild. All at once? From all areas? Yes. Huh. And the attacks are increasing in frequency. The tribes have plenty of defenses, so they're safe for now. But I can't say the same for the adventurers and merchants stuck in the wild. Chaska and I have been searching for survivors and treating the wounded. We just got back, but we need to head out again soon. I plan on heading back to the Collective of Plenty, just in case my tribe needs me. What about you, Mualani? Where are you gonna go? I'll go help the Children of Echoes. They're the closest, so I can start fighting right away. Alright. What about you guys? We could go together. I need to talk to the Power Archon first. I learned three things from the Captain. Yeah, that does sound important. No worries. Just leave the Children of Echoes to us. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe yours truly will have the Abyss on the run by the time you're finished. That would be pretty great, actually. I hope my tribe gets through okay. It'll be fine. Your tribe doesn't do all that bodybuilding for nothing. <laughs> I'm very interested in actually, uh... Yansan's tribe, actually, like, Let's part I really want to see, like, the other two Most in action. Be careful, everyone. Oh, and some of us need to avoid getting contaminated by dangerous-looking substances. Okay. <laughs> that will make my job a lot easier. All right, all right, we get it. <laughs> Koichi, do we really have to do this now? <laughs> it's all right. She's just looking out for everyone. All right. Let's hurry up and talk to the Pyro Archon so we can help the others. Okay. Talk to Malvika, uh, who's literally right there. Okay. Alright. Oh, it's you two. As you can see, things are not looking good right now. People across Natlin are in danger. Look, I'm very interested in your recent adventures, but this is not a good time. So we'll have to keep our conversation short. All right. Do you have a backup plan? That's all right. We're also in a hurry. We're going to go help the Children of Echoes after this. We met the captain. What? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you tell Malfoy Kappa to brief meeting with the captain and Aurora. So he thinks my plan is too risky. He thinks I'm being stubborn. Hmm. Well, is it true? Can Gnosis do what he said? <sighs> I shouldn't underestimate the Fatui's ability to gather intelligence. The Gnosis does have that function, but there's more to the story. I will answer you honestly, but you must help me keep this a secret. Okay. I can use the power of the Gnosis to save Natlan, but it comes at a heavy price. A oh, great shot here. Look at that. <laughs> the Gnosis would drain all the souls and memories from the Night Kingdom Ew. and weave them into a giant net, which would surround the ley lines and protect them against abyssal corrosion. Hmm. Wait, you can use souls to weave a net? But does that mean... I guess everybody who died cannot rest in peace? Yes. Hmm. It means sacrificing those souls in the process. Yeah. Souls are just another form of life. The cruelty of this method is self-evident. The Night Kingdom not only houses the souls of the dead, but also our memories and legends... Using the Gnosis means converting all three into material for the net, erasing our history and culture. <sighs> Even then, the net can still become corroded. Hmm. If we cannot find a way to repair the damaged ley lines before that happens, then all those sacrifices are for nothing. Given the enormity of the price, it's a solution I refuse to consider right now. 
I want us to win, but I also care about how we win and what that means for us in the end. Okay. Now it's true. Both plans come at a risk. But after weighing our options, this is our best bet. As far as Gnosis has this function, that's some, like something an Archon would do. Natlan is unique among the nations of Tavat. Hmm. Given the ever-looming threat of the Abyss, the Pyro Archons had to account for the worst-case scenario. Having a contingency plan is our duty. Not just to the people of Natlan, but to all who live on this continent. Still, this has always been a well-kept secret. I'm very curious how the captain learned this information. Yeah, how does he know this shit? How does he know about what the Gnosis can do? Oh, one more thing? The captain said he found another way to solve the problem. Could be equally as extreme, though. Without the Gnosis, he should have no other option. Hmm. But I see no reason for him to lie. Seems like our only path forward is to track him down. So he can answer that question for us. Pyrocon just shared an important secret with us, and she's like, she seems to see her. Figuring out the captain's supposed new way of saving Island is the key. Judging by your expression, you must have doubted me. Even if just for a second. Maybe a little. Not even a little! We would never- yep. Wait, what are you talking about, Traveler? <laughs> <laughs> just as expected. I appreciate your sincerity. Yeah, Pyro, we can't go just blindly trusting people left, right, and center. Maybe it was out of caution. Anxiety or simple curiosity, but know this. No matter what, our goal remains the same. We both want to save the people of this land. So now that you have your answer, do you still doubt me? Hmm. Not at all. <sighs> you scared, Paimon. You really <laughs> got a lot of guts, Traveler. <sighs> That's a good thing. Oh, and feel free to call me Mawika. It's what all my friends call Maui me, and I okay. it that way. So, yeah, the V is silence. Okay. <laughs> As for the captain, the intelligence officers we assigned to the Fatui should be back soon. We'll get our answer then. That's great! Sounds like we just have to wait a little longer. Uh, are the current attacks the beginning of the real disaster? <sighs> Not just yet. Even though the Abyss is attacking several locations at once, I'm confident the warriors stationed in those areas can handle it. Don't worry. I just need to finish coordinating our available manpower, then I'll take a small team to handle the difficult locations. Wait, you're going to fight in person? Oh shit. Didn't you give up your power? That's true. I'm far less powerful than a god in my current state. But don't forget, I was an experienced and powerful warrior before I ever became the Pyro Archon. No matter how you look at it, my duty is on the front lines. Shurian is the inspiration of all warriors. Sure you're not stretching yourself too thin. <laughs> I just think there's strength in numbers. If the people feel emboldened, that's just a bonus. Anyway, even if we respond to these threats in time, it's not a permanent solution in the long run. I've considered moving my people to other nations, but hmm. given their close connection to the Night Kingdom, a forced evacuation would have devastating consequences. I've told the chiefs of each tribe to strengthen their defenses and advise people against leaving their settlements. Now, I just need to find the right time to disclose the true nature of the crisis to the people of Natlan. Paimon's a little worried about how people will react. I think a lot of people join in on the fight. <sighs> yes, but... That won't be the only response. In any case, that's for me to worry about. I'll let you know when we have more information on the captain. All right, we should head out. Maybe we can join up with Moani. She can't be too far ahead. Sure, let's go. Stay safe, my Wika. <laughs> no need to worry about me. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh. Also, yeah, I just got a bunch of mail because apparently... Yeah, you get rewards for streaming for like two hours. Nice. Also, yep, uh, I got an achievement as well. Yep, sacrifice not offered, just what he's searching for. Hmm. It is sort of getting pretty interesting so far. Okay, let's go, uh, let's go help out Kachina and whatnot. And Malani too. Damn, we're still going, by the way. This is still Act 3. How long is this act? <laughs> Yeah, there's no way to complete the entire, like, Arkham quest here. 
I think I might have to split it up for like tomorrow <laughs> as well. Yep. A. We're here. Quick, over here to safety. Run. Oh, Shayla then. Kachina, how many people do you have left? Uh, they all made it out. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> got, got to put on my uh <laughs> my voice acting again. It's Space Agent Paimon. They're here. What's the situation? There's a trapped caravan that needs our help. We need to rescue them as soon as possible. We'll go together. Let's. Ah, uh, I'm coming too. Let's. Kill this chicken. I assure you, it's it's entirely necessary for the safety of the people. Okay, where's the caravan? Oh, this way. Go. Oh shit, Rift Hounds. Stay safe. We've got oh. this. I actually get to troll all of them. Oh, and I okay, the travel is included too, of course. All right. One, two, boom. Let the mountain's veins boil. Boom. Okay. Get him. Oh yeah, this is like C three Malani, right? Yeah, C three, like all of them, I believe. Get him. Yes. Yes. Okay, 90k. Okay. Shinlen, go. Boom. Get him. 300k. Oh my god. That's a lot of damage. Alright, I need to get rid of the stupid thing. I forgot about the, yeah. Get it, get it. Ow. Yeah, this sort of thing. Oh wait, all right, I can't destroy me until like, I kill the uh, others. Get him. All right, get it. Destroy it. Okay, Whew. there we go. I, I really thought I was done for. I can't thank you enough. Are you from Sumeru? Don't worry about it. We're just glad you're okay. Let's see. Your goods look fine too. Guess the Abyss isn't after Mora. That should be the last Abyssal Pylon near the Children of Echoes. Okay. Ew, that was scary, but we did it. By the way, where's Seat Lolly? I thought she would come with you. The Masters of the Nightwind also got attacked, so she went back to help her tribe. She said we can deal with the ancient name later. <sighs> that makes sense. The attacks are more urgent. All right, this isn't a good place to talk. Let's head back to the tribe. Pull back. Pull back, everybody. All right. Oh, well, Let's it's not back of a walk. <laughs> I just teleported because I was lazy. All right. All right. Back we go. Looks like a few people were hurt after all. Oh, I should have got here sooner. Ugh, the abyss threw a lot at us at once. I rushed out as soon as I heard the alarm, and there were already so many monsters. Before long, Kachina brought over a whole group of warriors, and just like that, we destroyed several pylons as a team. That a girl. <laughs> I wasn't in charge or anything, we just happened to be together. Still, I think this proves that camping in the wild was a great idea. That's how we were able to respond so fast. Sleeping on the wet grass was pretty uncomfortable, but it was worth it. I don't mean to be negative, but the situation's not looking good. You mean the situation in the Night Kingdom, right? Mm hmm Yeah, I feel the same way. We've managed to keep it a secret all this time, but more and more people are realizing something's wrong. <sighs> it's impossible not to feel anxious when things are getting worse by the second, and all we can do is wait. And we still don't know the, uh, when the final two heroes are going to appear. That just means we need to buy the Pyro Archon more time. Keep pushing, everyone. Every battle is worth something. You really are an eternal optimist, Mulani. You always find a way to cheer people up. Why, thank you. <laughs> I guess it's one of my better qualities. I learned a few things you should know. Share the captain's intel. Mm hmm. So, specifics aside, the Pyro Archon confirmed the Gnosis can resolve the crisis, but it comes at a huge price. 
Uh huh. And somehow the captain finds out about it, goes to fight the Pyro Archon, and calls her out for having a solution but refusing to use it. Honestly, if he has the same information as us, I can't really blame him. Hmm. It's probably because our plan is so risky. We didn't even know the six heroes will unite in time. Uh, reunite in time. We talked to Malika before we left the stadium. According to her, the cost of the captain's plan is too high. And, well, it makes sense. If that was truly the better choice, she would have picked it. Yeah, I trust the Pyro Archon. When I was upset about Kachina's disappearance, she was really sincere and patient with me. Plus, she burned down all those precious mementos for Kachina. She's already proven how much she values even a single person's life. When it comes to Natland's survival, there's no way she would hold back. I agree. Maybe the captain weighed the costs and came to his own conclusion, but I'm sure we have different priorities. Uh-huh. Life is important, but so are history and memory. I'm on Mawika's side on this too. As the Archon, she can't tell us everything, but it seems like she wasn't holding anything back this time. The next question is... If the captain found a new way to save Natlan, how come the Pyro Archon has never heard of it? Probably it's had something to do with, like, I guess, maybe one of the other... Maybe the Saritza's power has something to do with it. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, and isn't he from Shishnaya? Why would the Sui want to save Natlan? Uh, this is so super confusing. Hmm. We still don't have enough information. Once we figure out what the Fatui are doing, we'll have our answer. Let's head back then. Malika said her intelligence officers should return soon. With how many Fatui there are, someone's bound to give something away. Sounds good. I have a few theories of my own. With a bit more information, we just might get to the bottom of the whole thing. Wanna uh, join our garrison, Bolani? I was just about to ask. Count me in. Ah. <sighs> If I was just a bit faster, we could have prevented a few people from getting hurt. People who could help us in the next battle. <sighs> it's all a chain reaction. Mm -hmm. Then you should go register right away. It shouldn't take too long. Everyone's looking for people. Register? <laughs> nah. I'll just follow you around. You know, go where you go, do what you do. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. But then, you have to follow my orders. <laughs> you got it. I just don't want to make the trip back. It's so far. <laughs> all right. See you all later. Let's get together and celebrate once this is over. Oh, you betcha! Treat. Okay, return to the speaker's chambers. On the way back. Okay. Man, we're still going. Jeez. Not that I'm complaining, but my, my god. Three. We're in like three hours at this point. Or, well, two hours, technically, because I started at three. We're still not done. Malika! Oh, Chatska and Kuichi are here! Wait, are you okay, Kuichi? Uh, I'm fine. No need to worry. They ran into the Fatui while out on a mission and decided to follow them. What? Oh, shit. The Fatui? The Fatui wounded Ch 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 Chichui? Calm down and let me explain. Here's what happened. Oh. Shifting perspectives to them? Probably. Uh huh. Watch out. It's the Fatui. Hmm. Were they attacked by the Abyss? No, wait. It looks like they're protecting a group of travelers. Over there. Do you see? Huh. So they're good for once? Or no, well, for this time. You're right. That's a traveling group from that land. Could they be trading for something? Let's keep observing for now. We're glad you're okay. Given the appearance of abyss monsters all over Natlan, you should cancel your journey and seek shelter at the stadium or one of the tribes. Th th thank you so much. I wish there was something we could give you. We don't expect anything in return. We were out on a mission and saw you being attacked. It was our decision to help. If you truly wish to repay the favor, you can keep this a secret. If anyone asks, just say you were saved by warriors from Natlan. Oh, okay. We can do that. <laughs> but... We're not asking you to cover up our activities. We haven't done anything illegal. Our captain simply wishes to remain undisturbed. 
Hmm. Nonetheless, the decision remains yours. If we wanted to keep you quiet, we would have employed a harsher method. G got it. We'll get going now. Did you hear that? They mentioned a captain. Isn't that who the Pyro Archon is looking for? Exactly. We could be onto something big. Still, there was no trade. They were just helping people in need. I didn't sense an ulterior motive. Mm. I didn't believe the captain when he said he wanted to save Natlan. But based on what we just saw, it's possible he was telling the truth. Maybe we've been wrong about the Fatui this whole time. No, the Fatui are definitely dickheads, but there's probably a few out there that are good, like Arlequino Child and possibly Capitano. It's too early to say. Let's follow them and see what's really going on. Hmm. So this is where they were headed. Looks tricky. It's heavily guarded on all sides. Koichi, wait for me here. I'll go in and check it out. Oh, no, you don't. How are you planning to get through all the guards? Just yeah, shoot them dead. Look, I can use this terrain to my advantage. With our tribe's special way of getting around, I doubt they'll see me coming. We still can't see anything on the inside. What if you can't find cover? You won't have anyone to watch your back if you go in alone. The more heavily guarded the location, the more valuable the secrets. Even if the captain isn't here, we can still figure out what the Fatui are planning. That intel is worth the risk. Hmm. Ah, <sighs> fine. You're not gonna listen to me anyway. Uh, yeah. So let me come <laughs> with you. That's even more risky. You've been running around saving people for days. You're already at your limit. I'm confident I can protect myself. I'm not sure you can say the same. At least right now. I can. You sure? <sighs> you really believe that? Fine, don't believe me. But you can't honestly tell me infiltrating a heavily guarded Fatui hideout all on your own sounds more reasonable. You know, growing up, even if I insisted on doing something, it never gave you any trouble. I'm not sure you can say the same. Ugh, all right, all right. If we start arguing, this will never end. We can't let this opportunity go to waste. Ah, ha ha. Guess that means I win. <laughs> Don't worry. You're not the only capable young person from our tribe. I can handle this. All right. Same plan as usual. We split up, communicate with hand signals, make sure our blind spots are covered, and support each other once we strike. Got your ropes? Yeah, let's go. All right. Kind of thought we'd be playing them here, but I don't think we are, because she's not playable yet, right? <laughs> Super sneaky. Oh. The Fatui have eyes all over this place. I should wait for Koichi's signal. Oh, what are you doing all the way up there in the tree? Yeah, it seems a bit dangerous. If somebody looks up, you're, you're done for. That's all I'm saying. Now. Go! Oh god! Look. Oh, we're on a time limit. Oh god, not the fucking wind trace music! <laughs> also, they have more boxes everywhere. I need to come to this location myself. Not sure how many chances I'm gonna get. I need to act. Jump down! <laughs> That's a weird way of doing this, but... I guess I have to make choices for her along the way. Good. I made it without getting caught. I should get to that platform over there. But it's guarded by the Fatui. You, you know what? But what happened if I fail this? I wonder. Koichi should have line probably of Probably just start over, probably. I'll wait for her signal. Hmm. What if it's a weak guard there? That's it. Now's my chance. Quickly approach the area from underneath the platform. Oh god. Nobody, nobody jumps down. 
Oh, goodness. It's no use staying in one place. I should keep moving. Looks like Chaska is helping me by keeping an eye on the Fatui movements. I'll wait for her signal. Yes, I control her now. Uh, oh god, don't look down. Please don't look down. That's extremely risky. Uh, okay. Go! Uh, oh, she just jumped to the other tree. Was close. Oh no, she, she jumped down the tree. Damn. Probably can't make it over in one go. I'll wait for my next chance. Now's my chance. Go. Uh oh. Oh my god. Fucking she's she's a lot like this fuck! I made it! That'll show my sister. What the she can just run up trees like that? Damn. Let's see. The Fatui's occupying all the best locations. If we could just get past them somehow. Wait, I've got it! Oh, distraction time? Whoa, what the hell's that? Toss the mysterious spear. What 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 is that even? Yeet! Oh! Not the capybara! Oh, it's like a dendro ball or something. Oh no! What's that noise? Did something explode? Oh, it stinks! Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> what the heck is that? What do you think you're doing? I could ask you the same thing! Oh shit. Wait, what? Why are the tribe members here? Good, they're arguing. Looks like they just needed an excuse. They've probably had enough of this job already. The people on the hill over there left to help their comrades. This is our chance. Go. Come get me, Chaska. I hope she gets this hand signal. <laughs> Jazz hands. <laughs> Koichi signal. <laughs> Smart idea. All right, time to move. Go. Climb. Give me your hand, quick. Coming. Yeah. Hope they don't turn back around or something. I checked, and this way is completely clear. It should lead us to the deepest part of this place. Okay. That's a surprisingly easy stealth mission. <laughs> oh god. We're so obvious right now. <laughs> well, I was pretty helpful, right? You know, everyone usually jumps at the chance to work with me. Not my own sister, though. No, she avoids me like her life depends on it. This is really the time to be arguing. I was wrong, Koichi. You've done well. Wait, you're just gonna admit it? Now I look like the mean one. <laughs> Let's focus on the task at hand. We're in the heart of enemy territory. The more time we waste, the more dangerous this becomes. All right, all right. If you're not gonna take the bait, then I'll drop it. Looks like the Fatui are here to dig something up. I'm surprised Whoa. they mobilized what is so that? many people. I doubt it's because they're interested in our culture and history. It seems like they're looking for a dragon relic called the Source Mechanism. A dragon relic? What? The device is ancient. Barely any information survives to this day. And even people from that land don't know how to use it. Huh. Why would this be the Fatui's target? Hmm. Mm, not bad. Looks like it's in good shape. This should be what our lord's looking for. <laughs> Took us long enough. Come on, let's get this thing back. Back? Back where? Should we keep following? You really want to keep going? Of course. We make a good team, don't you think? No reason to stop now. Hmm? What was that sound? Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. We've been spotted. Time to go. Falling rock incoming! Watch out for your gadget! Oh god, do no, don't don't re fucking reveal yourself like that. What? Oh. You'll regret that. After them. Oh shit. God damn it. I thought they, they definitely didn't notice them at first. Shit. Once we got them off our tail, damn. we went back to observe some more. 
They'd collected several identical pieces of something. It looked like they were waiting, though. So we decided to come back. So, Koichi got injured trying to get them off your tail? <laughs> yeah. She pushed herself too hard and collapsed on the way back to the stadium. Oh, she just fell. <laughs> well, I didn't cause you any trouble while we were fighting, right? So, my perfect record remains. You've done very well. I could make a comment on knowing your limits, but it's not my place. I know, I know. I'm already reflecting on my actions. So, our current intel suggests the Fatui is after the source mechanism. Whatever the hell that is. The device is a complete mystery, even to us. <sighs> what does the captain want with it? Seriously? I have no idea. But it's safe to assume the device could serve a similar purpose to the Gnosis. Hmm, like act like, 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 like a proxy to it? Shilonen, I need you to gather every scholar in Natland familiar with the secret source. Hmm. <sighs> I'll get right on it. Thank you both for your hard work. Koichi, it's time for you to get some rest. Oh, and there are gifts from your patients waiting at the speaker's chamber. I've prepared a small gift of my own as a token of gratitude. I'll send it to your home along with the others. My patients. That's so nice of them. <laughs> Guess that means I'm doing something right. You don't need to give us anything, Archon. We were just doing our duty for Natlan. I should take Koichi home now. <laughs> well, if Koichi doesn't want her favorite Saurus crackers, then... Oh, I'll have them. Uh, I accept. <laughs> Thank you, Archon. Uh, of course you would. What am I gonna do with you? There's some for the rest of you as well. They're one of my favorites too, so don't be shy. Yes. I'll start investigating the source mechanism right away. If I learn anything, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> Yummy snacks! <laughs> of course. Of course you'd be excited about this. Okay. Shit, okay. So... Hmm. So they're trying to use a source mechanism to replace the Gnosis? So are they trying to do the same plan as we did initially, or is it maybe a different plan entirely? Hmm. With farewell to Chaska and Kuichi. Okay. I'm guessing we're nearing the end here of Act, Act uh, 3. Oh, hey, down here. Uh, you want. We'll just cut the ball instead. One with nature. All right. What's next, hmm. Koichi? I'm taking Koichi home, with our parents there to keep an eye on her. I can make sure she actually rests. <laughs> hey, it's not like I'm some kind of prisoner. I'll be fine in a day or two. There's no need to go all the way home. That's what you always say. Everything's no big deal until you collapse. What if the Abyss attacks again? You're saying if I let you rest in a hotel, you're not going to rush out the minute you hear the alarm? I won't. Triple promise I won't. <laughs> you sure? Mm-hmm. Quadruple promise that. Fine. On the Quintuple off chance it. something like that were to happen, I might. But I'm a doctor. I have a duty to help people in need, no matter how hard or tiring the work gets. We need you, so you need to look after yourself, too. <sighs> I guess you're right, but I don't have to like it. <laughs> this reminds my of when we first met. Except <laughs> you were the one trying to stop Chaska from doing something dangerous. True. <laughs> I'd do the same for anyone trying to put their life in danger. As a doctor, I don't want people to get hurt because of a rash decision. Then try to see things from my perspective. You clearly want to protect your patients. So can't you understand why your own sister would feel the same way about you? The two of you are the same, you know? <laughs> you I really disagree. are. I understand the risks and costs of my decisions. Who wants to be like her? Overconfident, <laughs> always making excuses when things go wrong. <laughs> That's just not true. <laughs> you think I don't have proof? Okay, okay, don't get into another fight! Yeah, yeah, we, we know, we get it, we get it. <laughs> Don't worry, Paimon. You didn't do anything wrong. Arguing is just how we communicate. Neither of us really takes it to heart. 
Plus, I guess we are similar in some ways. <sighs> Maybe I rush into things without thinking, but I learned that from her. We're family. I can't help it if my older sister is a bad influence. Okay, you don't have to put it that way. So, you're all good now? This is probably normal for them. Neither of us are really the type to back down. So we'll always have our differences. But still, we get along in our own way. Plus, I know you'll wake up one day and realize I was right all along. <laughs> sure. I just need to wait. Be my guest. Come on, let's get you home. See you later, Traveler and Paimon. I'll be back once everything's settled at home. There's no rush. At least grab a nice meal with your family. See you later. Bye, you two. Take care of yourselves out there. Goodbye. Hmm. <laughs> Those two will probably make up for real at some point, right? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> well, we've learned a lot. Let's go over everything that we know so far. You probably try to analyze the captain's goal. You feel like you're trying to... Oh. Just one step away from the answer. Huh? What steps? Sit, Lolly? What are you doing here? Ahem. <clears throat> Uh, sorry for popping up out of nowhere. Again. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know where to find us? Uh, why do you look so awkward? Oh, is there something you need from us? Okay, I won't beat around the bush. Hmm? Oh, and I'm sorry for interrupting your rest. I'll treat you to some charcoal grilled steak to make up for it. Awesome! Just give us your orders! <laughs> hey, friends don't order each other around. I'm just here to share some news. Remember what we talked about before parting ways? Yeah? Oh, yeah. You mentioned how Auroron has always wanted to save Natlan, and something about his soul being fragmented. Paimon and the Traveler discussed it after you left, and we think Auroron is probably back with the captain. What do you think? I mean, yeah, that's most likely where he's supposed to be, right? I agree with your hypothesis. And just now, I confirmed it myself. Yep. Auroron came back. He helped the Masters of the Nightwind defend our camp. Oh, okay. What? He came back? Did he say anything, or did he just dip, like I he usually does? I told him to give up whatever he's doing, but he refused. He said they're just one step away from success, so there's no way he can back out now. Apparently, he came back to fulfill his duty to our tribe. Hmm. When he left, he said it was because he still has a duty to Natlan as a whole. I'm not surprised you let him go at all. I had to prioritize my tribe. Besides, the situation was intense. I couldn't focus on outside and inside threats at the same time. Plus, he was on guard. He knew I would try to go after him, so he made sure to keep his distance. I kept an eye out for a good opportunity, but it never came. Ugh, all these years of calling me Granny, and I couldn't do a single thing for him in the end. Oh. Don't say that! Your tribe all raised him together, right? That couldn't have been easy. Mm. <sighs> You're right. <laughs> Seeing him come back reminded me of when he was little. Running around the tribe, dropping by random houses right and left. He's not only a child of the Masters of the Nightwind, but a child of Natlan. It's only natural for a child to want to do something for their family. Besides, Auroron is my apprentice. He might have a few tricks up his sleeve, but I guarantee I know every single one. Wait, what are you saying? Huh? Look. Oh. That is... Wait, what is that? That is Mass... Uh, ancient name? Remember how I said Auroron's soul no. is fragmented? This is the talisman I created to keep it stable. Okay. And this gem is what makes the talisman work. It just so happens that Auroron is due for a gem replacement. Uh, since I can't get close to him, I put the new gem in a supply bag and asked Aoife to bring it to him. You guys know Aoife, right? No? No. <laughs> well, he's a pretty famous vet around these parts. He's always bringing me all sorts of things, and he happens to be very good friends with Auroron. Aoife doesn't know what's going on, so hmm. he agreed, no questions asked. Auroron would find the gem as soon as he opened the bag. He knows how important it is. 
so I knew he would make the switch. Hmm. Oh, we do figure out who this Aoife is at some point. <laughs> like, so far, we don't even know what they look like. He probably suspected that I tampered with it. But here's the catch. The trick is on the bag. The moment he touched it, a portion of his memories were copied onto the old gem, which he no longer needed. Oh, so... Wait, so we have his memories now. That's amazing. You can do something like that? Right? Uh, most people can't. But I can. <laughs> of course. That trick he used to bring you to the Night Kingdom isn't anything special, by the way. My technique is much more subtle. He won't notice anything. So in other words, we have a whole backup of Aurora's memories in this gem. Ah, okay. <laughs> the kid thinks he can take me on? Like I wasn't the one who taught him everything he knows? That's amazing, Seat Lolly. Let's take a look right away. Let's. Once we get to the bottom of this, we can finally track him down. Uh, nah. Should we start? What's wrong? I know he thinks of me as his grandma, but do you think he'll get mad at me for this? You can be honest. Huh, hmm. that's a tough question. Paimon doesn't have a grandma, so she's not the best person to ask. It's possible. Families disagree sometimes, but as a family, you have to do this. To be honest... I've always doubted my ability to look after him. Hmm. I didn't stop the ceremony all those years ago. And now, I'm useless again. But if I stop here, it will haunt me until I'm 500 years old. Every night I'll wake up in a fit of anger. Then start crying, then start freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't scare that easy. Still, if I back away from this... And something happens to Auroron, I would never forgive myself. <sighs> I need to look at his memory. Even if he resents me, refuses to see me, or runs away for good. Oh. I don't care, and I won't blame him. A family does whatever it takes to protect their own. Also, damn this music right now. That's like some Kingdom of Hearts kind of music. Oh, this piano's nice. You sure you'll be okay? We can come with you if you want. Did you just say you'll come with me? Is that yeah. okay? We have a pretty good reason to see it too, don't we? Because, uh, right, we need leads on the Fatui. That's right, we should be there. You really mean it? Yeah. Oh, fine, you can come. Just promise me you'll see this through. No backing out. Got it? Don't worry, we're professional adventurers! Ah, uh, then I place my trust in your professionalism. Alright, time to sneak into someone else's memory and engage in some... <laughs> uh... Unwanted spying. Yeah, but for a good reason. <clears throat> uh, you heard it here first. I wouldn't be doing this if I had any other choice. <sighs> Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's witness the memories. Oh, hi. Hey. It's like a new loading screen and everything. Memory time. Oh, he, he really eats us cross vegetables. Look how good you're doing. You'll grow into nice big radishes in the future. And you, Eva says you're taking up too much space, but I think you're a good tree. What do you think? <laughs> hey. How's it going, Auroron? Good. How are you, Uncle Okanbi? Ah, can't complain. What you up to? Naming your vegetables again? No, just some idle conversation. <laughs> Sounds fascinating. What did they say? They told me you were coming and that you would take some produce with you. <laughs> Only if you're offering. By the way, I ran into Aoife yesterday. Hmm. He told me Chaska's fostering a Saurian at his place. Said the thing trampled over a part of your radish garden. Uh. I hope you two didn't get into a huge fight. No, don't worry. I'll find a way for him to make it up to me. I've already wrapped your share of the produce. Here you go. You really knew I was coming. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Light up the smoke and you can see the path through the shadows. That's what everyone says. Hey, 
Have you seen that strange group of people that just appeared out of nowhere? No. Uh. Appeared out of nowhere? I don't think so. It's the Fatui. Their leader seems like a big deal. He didn't bring many men with him, but they're all elite warriors. It seems like they're looking for someone. But I wouldn't go around asking too many questions. If you run into them, be careful. Sounds great. I'm going to go join them. <laughs> hmm. You're from the Masters of the Nightwind, are you not? Well, Why do you live here alone? I enjoy living by myself out in the wild. I guess you're from the Fatui. The one everyone's calling a big deal. Oh, God. <laughs> Rorahan? <laughs> not an inaccurate description. I'm looking for someone who may be known to you. Sitlali is her name. Granny? What does an outlander want with her? Hmm. I've heard the name. You have business with her? <sighs> There's no point to further questioning if you insist on hiding things from me. I shall seek answers elsewhere. Oh, he could tell I was lying and now he's leaving? He gave up just like that? Hey! At least tell me why you're looking for Sidlali. It's none of your concern. I have my own means of tracking her down. Mm. Why are the Fatui looking for her? What does she have to do with them? I can't just let them go like this. I have to figure out what they're planning. Ah, oh, so I guess maybe he was really protecting Sidlali after all? Huh. They've just been studying the ley lines and asking for leads on Granny. I can definitely rule out some sort of invasion. The situation has seen no true improvement. The Pyro Archon did not fulfill her promise. Oh. My lord! Hmm? Oh god. <laughs> really? You busted that easily? Ignore him. He is no threat. Oh. Okay, no. Just let him stay there. He knows I'm following him, but he doesn't seem to care. He's strong, I can tell. But there's something unusual about him and also hmm. familiar in some way. I can't describe it. Familiar? Ugh. Oh, what the hell? What is it? My lord, I... I feel dizzy. A ley line disturbance. Certain presences have been forced to wander outside their rightful realm. Hmm. Whoa, what the hell? What did Jesus do? That was a spell from the Masters of the Nightwind. How did he know that? Is he sending those escaped souls back into the ley lines? How did he do that so easily? Soul faring is supposed to be extremely difficult. This could be related to why he's searching for Granny. Ah, I feel much better. Thank you, my lord. Think nothing of it. Stay vigilant. And continue to gather information. The abyss could attack at any moment. If you notice any irregularities, assume drill formation and be prepared to fight. However, there is no reason to overengage. Information is our first priority. Yes, sir. Why are the Fatui fighting against the abyss? Mm. Do they really mean us no harm? Hmm. So he already had the power to begin with, so he has to be Natlin native, right? Or at least was from Natlin at some points. Right? Right? Oh. I've been following him this whole time and still they ignore me? Do they really not care? Hmm. Oh, is this where he goes to attack Mafuika? Uh, Mawika. It seems like I mean, his subordinates refer to him as the captain. Never heard of him before. And now he's headed to the stadium. That's unusual. Oh, what is he gonna do? You two, with me. Everyone else, wait here as instructed. Yep. Send word to the other teams to retreat immediately if this fails. Yes, sir. He's going inside? But the Pyro Archon is in there. What does he want with her? Forgive me, my lord. Allow me to check one more time. Do you truly wish to do this? The time for idle observation is over. It now falls on me to act. This nation is out of time. 
Oh shit. Yes, sir. So I guess maybe he did really help. He just then? walked straight into the stadium. What is he gonna do? <laughs> Five minutes later. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep, there we go. Holy shit. This will screech out the fight. Okay. I I'm gonna just take a pick up that. They're both incredibly strong. How long will they have to fight until someone comes out on top? Oh. Wait, this Maoika is wins. Just like the other day near the ley lines. It's faint. Like a soul's trying to escape. Where is it coming from? Is that why he's looking for Granny? If he dies here, then all clues will be lost. I can't let that happen. Oh, so no, he chose to save. Capitano. Okay. Hmm. As for you, I must confess, I did not expect that little trick of yours to save the day. No matter how dense the fog, as long as the sun remains, we cannot turn day into night. She could have dispelled it. She simply chose not to. <sighs> you don't have much time. And hmm. You're injured on top of that. What do you plan to do next? Oh, he's talking to him, like, yeah, I guess from a distance in his head. I'm beginning to see just how useful you may turn out to be. You heard something from here, didn't you? Heard something from... Oh. <coughs> no need to force yourself. I've never seen anyone match the Pyro Archon in battle before. Hmm. I didn't expect you to intervene at such a critical moment. Hmm. You know I've been following you. Why didn't you stop me? When walking in the forest, it is only natural to encounter wild beasts. However, not every beast has the courage to come out and bite. And yet, one of those very beasts saved your life. Hmm. Then speak. What do you want? I didn't save you because I wanted something. My soul is more perceptive than others. I can sense that the ley lines are extremely weak. <sighs> I don't know what the Pyro Archon is planning. <sighs> can she really save us? The questions you asked her just now, well, I've had very similar doubts. So I felt like I had to help you. <sighs> so you can tell the truth. That was quite a reckless decision to make. I'm not sure you realize that. There's no turning back for me now. What I did back there is going to get me in a lot of trouble. You attacked the Pyro Archon in broad daylight and I used my spell to save you. A single glance was likely all it took for her to recognize my tribe. So, we're in the same boat. You seem to care little for my thoughts on the matter. <laughs> it's too late for that. Start from the beginning. Why are you looking for Sitlali? Do you know her? Explain your relation to her first. I know you two are acquainted. It was obvious the moment I mentioned her name. Sitlali is my elder and my teacher. She taught me everything I know. It's my duty to protect her. If you truly wish to protect her, you should have let me perish at the Pyro Archon's hand. Mm. Yet, you chose otherwise. Do I really need to tell you what that means? I want to do something to change Natland for the better. Something I can accomplish with my own two hands. You're stranger than anyone I've ever met. But maybe, just maybe, you can show me the way. Strange. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very, very, very weird way of them, like... Trying to cooperate or together. I'm kind of liking though. It's it's kind of interesting. Like he's not, you know, d you know, betraying the people of Latin, and he's just finding a different way to save them. It's very interesting, actually. Cizalali is said to be the legendary Granny Eatsley, mm -hmm. someone capable of communicating with the Wyab, and the Wyab are the key to information on the Night Kingdom. Why do you need knowledge on the Night Kingdom? That is not something you need to know. Don't forget. I saved your life. Do you not believe the Fatui capable of betraying a debt? People can lie, but souls cannot. I can tell there's a weight to your soul. A sense of justice. 
You may mm. not live among your tribe, but you certainly know their tricks. I apologize for my rash judgment. You are more capable than I imagined. Let's go. We'll see if you have what it takes to join my plan. Hmm. Okay, so it was Auron that saved him there. Approach. But he just kind of saved him just because he wanted answers, I suppose. Worth trying, I think. Mm. Rather than weaving a net to protect the ley lines, this method would address the root problem. Uh? Oh, they're talking about the, the different way to save Natlin, okay. By reconstructing the ley lines themselves. How? Oh, back to us. How do they plan to reconstruct them? Is that something you can... That's not something you can just do, right? Ah! Woo! Traveler, Paimon. Are you two alright? Uh, Paimon's fine, just, um, <laughs> a little dizzy. I'm fine. Are you okay, Lolly? Of course. I'm just... Oh god! So mad at him! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> She's about to fucking murder his ass! <laughs> <sighs> After everything, he still can't let go of the past. Hmm. I can understand kind of how he feels. <sighs> for some reason, he thinks he owes something to the people who cared for him. <sighs> Stubborn, self-righteous fool. Where's that gonna get him? Now that he's all grown up, he thinks no one can tell him what to do? Oh he boy. He can just... Run away whenever he wants. <sighs> I'll show him. If he tries to run one more time, he's got another thing coming. <laughs> Maybe stubbornness runs in the family. <laughs> like grandmother, like grandson, as they say. Is that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> huh, that kid's got nothing on me. <sighs> anyway... Back to what we just saw. I don't even know what to make of it. Neither do I. Like, how are they gonna repair the ley lines yeah, directly? The captain seriously wants to reconstruct the ley lines? What does that even mean? Something like the loom of fate, maybe? But how does that help with the abyss? The loom of fate? Oh, uh, uh you don't even know about that. power anyway if he really wants to manipulate the ley lines mm. everyone in that land will be affected oh this is big he's serious it lines up with everything he said before he tried to see some the notes for the same purpose which means the captain has been honest from the very beginning auroron's memory proves that why is he so obsessed with saving that land Oh, we've got to tell Malika about this right away. Yes. She needs to know about this. Now. Okay, let's go. Right away. Hmm. Oh, wow. And that's how Act 3 ends. Damn. That's a lot of stuff we just learned with, with the past few uh, minutes here. Okay. That was a lot. Oh my goodness! Yeah, this, 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 this now is getting. Uh, this region keeps getting better and better. Honestly, oh man, I, I cannot wait for like the rest of the story. But I think with all that said, boys, all right. I think that's gonna be a good place to end off for today. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize her like <laughs> little <laughs> like skating here plays music. Uh, but yeah, I think we've run out of time for today's stream, folks, and um. I think I will continue on with Act 4, possibly to in tomorrow's stream. Uh, yeah. But so far, it's, yeah, it's a pretty good setup to, like, what's happening so far. Yeah, it seems like the captain is just being 100% real of us. Like, he's not trying to deceive us at all whatsoever. He just truly just wants to save Nalan. But for what reason? I'm not sure yet. And Aurora seems to, hmm, be complacent with, uh, Capitano's plans and whatnot. But how in the hell do they plan to reconstruct the ley lines? I have no idea of, like, how they even plan to do that. Hmm. 
And not to mention, yeah, the uh, <laughs> the stuff is getting worse with the abyss, and they keep attacking and whatnot. And not to mention, um, yeah, that whole thing with Sea uh, Lotties in Rowan's past was very, very much interesting. <sighs> had a plan and the hmm. just died again. I was watering it every day. Ugh, don't tell me I overdid it this time. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's all very interesting. Like, I really, really want to know what Capitan looks like. Bodas are. He, he's got to be like a Natlan native or something for him to be wanting to protect Natlan this much, right? Right? Like, there's no way he's not from Natlan after all this. And then, yeah. What else? Yeah, Maui, Mauika does have a separate plan to save all Natlan, but that would require to, you know, expend all the souls of the uh, of the Night Kingdom, which means, you know, using dead people's souls oh, and, you know, using have them as a net for probably all of eternity. One, two, and there's a chance that plan could fail, so, so yeah, it's probably not the oh. best plan that she could have taken. But then again, yeah, how is Capitan planning to repair the ley lines? Uh, two, what is his history connected to Natlan? Why is he dedicated to saving it? And three, will this plan actually work and how would it work? Will this result in us maybe collaborating with Capitano in the very end? Like having Mawika and uh, Capitano like collaborate in the end? Or will this result in something else? I'm not so sure. Hmm. Okay, we also get like free stuff could be Act 3. Yep, Act 4 is up next, and we'll probably get all the answers to that in a bit here, but we'll save that all for tomorrow's stream, for when we, uh, yeah, <laughs> when we continue on and play Act 4 of Natlan, folks. But yeah, I think that is probably a good place to end things off with for today, folks. That was all, like, super, super enlightening. Like, yeah, and it's a really, really good setup for, like, what's about to come, I, I think. We're gonna find out what happens to the, uh... To Nalan, to Mawika, and Capitano in the next stream when we start up Act 4 and possibly complete it till the very end. But okay, boys, that is what we're gonna end things off for today, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. And uh, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, we're gonna end things off for now, but I will resume with the Arc Quest tomorrow to play Act 4 and yeah, reach the end of the 5.2 story so far. I cannot wait for it, honestly. It's, it's gonna be great. I can already tell it's gonna be peak. But yeah. I'm gonna go head off now, guys, and take a bit of a rest. Uh, you guys, uh, I wish you guys the best of luck in pulling for Sheila then. I hope you don't have the same luck that I have today. And, uh, yeah, hope you win all your 50-50s going forward. But okay, guys, it's time for me to go take a rest now, so... Thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you guys again in the next stream. Uh, yeah, leave a like on the stream if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for the day if you're new. And if you want to see me build my C6 Chi Chi. And you know, drop a follow on my Twitch channel as well if you want to see me play games other than Genshin, uh, Star Rail, or, or Zenless on that channel. But okay, boys, I'm gonna go dip now. Take care of all of you guys, and uh, see y'all next time uh, in tomorrow's stream. Take care and have a good night, folks. And now, see y'all again tomorrow. Alrighty, boys, gonna go now. See ya.